Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's stream. It's D&D night. So we're doing session number eight of Last Haven along with everybody else. Well, well mostly everybody else. If you, you kind of notice on my screen, Matt is not currently here. Yeah, Mello had to. M Mello has a really busy day. He has a really busy week coming up. I don't. I yeah. do not envy that man at yeah. all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, but he's gonna make. He's gonna make fucking bank. He's gonna though. make bank, mind you. But <laughs> oh yeah, I still do not envy him. Busy for work. week. He he he's still gonna be dog tired. Oh, welcome yeah. to the. Uh, uh, also to everyone who's watching on stream. Welcome to the week long of Overkill. For this entire week, I'll be streaming. As long as I can until I can no longer stream up until my birthday on Friday. So, yeah. That I'm going to be setting up a that. schedule to get back to streaming myself. Yeah. I got to get, 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 get Ty streaming. He needs to do the fucking Nuzlocke. Well, that's still, I still need like 40, <laughs> 38 people for that one, I think. Yes. Yes. I'm right. in his live. When the next AAA horror game comes out is when I'll stream. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yes. So far, there are none planned, so. Yeah. My rise to power will begin again. For what about what about indie horror games, though? Uh... <laughs> A lot uh, of really indie good horror indie horror games, horror games hey, out there. It's to a Hindi, uh, to an indie uh, horror game that I actually found you in the first place. That's fair. Incorrect. Because I remember this. You found me I... via Potato, who was suggesting. No, I did not. You're wrong. Oh. I met Potato through you. Oh. Koyu and Seti introduced me to your stream through you playing Summer of whatever it's called. I Summer forgot. of Fifty Eight. Yeah, summer fifty-eight. Look, I'm not good with numbers. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start my. Uh, I'm gonna start the YouTube recording here. Hey, YouTube, welcome to session eight of Last Haven. I hope you're all doing well. In the uh, last session, we finally completed the uh, the re uh, the realm of water, and now we are. Moving on to the next area, we have we have chosen fire, right? Fire red. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we are uh, going fire. We are. It's still inside the portal room. We are the portal uh, room, which is not accurate. No. It's too many. Listen, portals. <laughs> listen. I don't have the ability to draw. <laughs> I have to go by what I find on Google. And and ink, whatever it's called, incarnate, incarnate. Maybe maybe my my first art stream will be me working on that commission for you. Yes. But uh, yeah, so hope everyone's doing well. Let's uh, let's get into it. Right, you guys ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Being quiet. Who all is with him? Well, I guess we weren't ready. I guess not. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, what? Oh, Raven? Yeah. Oh, I asked if everyone I was said ready. I said I went mm -hmm, along with everybody. Oh, else. no, your microphone did not. Oh, it didn't you come up. through. Oh, no, okay. and I said, is everyone ready? And the only person that said something was Ty. <laughs> I think most well, of it, on, right. on my end, most people were talking at the same time, so. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm ready. ready. I'm 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 ready. All right, <laughs> you guys uh, start walking towards the portal as the, uh, the, por uh, the, Something something strange is happening. I need everyone to roll Arcana. 
I'm not ready. Uh, no. Yeah, that was... Uh, <laughs> yeah. I open up my team. I thought you guys were ready! I had to open up my character sheet, apparently. Same. Uh, mm. Ooh, I got a oh, damn. 20, but I got a nat 20, but it's a negative three, three so... Right, okay, well, Arcana. Right, all right. Yep. Arcana. No. I ain't doing shit with magic. Us Genasi right. got it. It's fine. All right, you guys. Uh, uh, the portal begins to to shift and sway, and uh, Tabubu and Tai at the last second realize before they get sucked into this portal that you see that there's a um, the portal shifts completely and goes from like a vibrant like reddish hue to like a red like a hellscape red color as oh. you get sucked into the portal joyful oh, this is you guys good. are brought over here no so there is a <laughs> oh jesus this guy you guys are in the presence of the one is what he calls himself. Oh. He uh, announces to himself, to you guys, as welcome to my realm. Welcome to where I am from. Welcome to hell. Joy. Or Dallas, Texas. <laughs> Welcome to well, Welcome to Nebraska, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which 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 place. What city? What was that town called again? I forget the name of it. But it's that that one city in like Arkansas that actually has the oh. highest per capita murder rate in the entirety of the U.S. Oh, I thought you were talking about hell, which is actually no. a a city. I mean that too, but <laughs> tonight we died in hell. I heard the restaurants are okay, lobster. I guess. <laughs> they got a red lobster. Um, oh, but no, I'm not. Oh, God. Um, he raises his hands up, and, like, as he raises his hands up, like, pillars of, of, of obsidian start coming out of the lava. And he's like, you, <clears throat> you people have ruined everything that I have been doing. I could not stand for this. Nobody's going to say anything? I, I think a lot of us are too dumbstruck for what the fuck just happened. Uh, Grok is, like, very confused because, like, I, I failed that arcana check, so I really don't know what the fuck just happened. Uh, he responds, he did, like, like, takes a couple steps forward uh, off the throne and comes down to about the top of the stairs right in front of you. And he, uh, if you continue doing what you are doing, I will stop you. And he raises his hands up again and another set of obsidian, obsidian pillars come up. And this time they like curl down and they're all like focused at you, at the, at you guys. And then all of a sudden, you guys just feel like this, like, like a pain rushing through your body as you guys feel like and you guys are mobilized and there's like, you guys can't move. Like, you're like, there's like, it's like, like there's an invisible rope holding your arms to your sides and your legs together. Like, basically, you're just like standing still as a pillar. Yeah, I love that. And he lifts you up off the ground, looks looks you dead in the eyes and goes, and now be gone. He crushes his hand. And just as he crushes his hand, you guys appear at the in in, in you guys appear over here. Uh, DM, well, you might have some things on the player level that you might want to be on the DM level, I'm guessing. What these 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 things? The dudes. Oh, the dudes. oh they're they're cards. Don't worry about that. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're meant to be there. Don't worry about it. Um, uh, I just uh, uh, this, so this is going to be a bit of a brain fart question here because yeah. I totally might have brain farted. Um, did we level up last time? Yes. Yes. Yes, we did. You not level we yourself up? We should be level four at this moment. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> oh. Oh, I meant to do it. I meant to do it, but I didn't do it. I even told myself, I was like, oh, I'll do yeah. it this week. Oh, but did I, I, uh, I, I had the easiest and most straightforward level up of all, because just well, basically the only thing I did was get uh, was get action surge. So. Mm. <laughs> I don't remember if I did skill point or if I did... I did skill. My God, I'm so mad. I, me, meanwhile, you're, meanwhile, my level five is no, going to be interesting because I have to make a, I have to make a decision. No, I didn't. I got sharpshooter. That's right. Oh, oh no, our tokens got deleted. I have to get them from another page. Give me a minute. Yeah, yeah my level five is going to be interesting because I have to make a decision on which way I want to go with that. <laughs> on more than one end. Because on one end, oh, level three fighters, uh, when you get to choose where, between like where, where all of the be? different proficiency I have, things. Oh. I literally just explained that I cannot find your tokens. I had to re-get them from oh, another look. page. Oh, look, my old token. No, well, one, one of these tokens is here. Why is there two of them? Dragon oh, summoned one, I think. Uh, yeah. That and put your new your um, things back on. Fuck. Yeah. Can see. Oh. Now my my level five, I have to choose between whether I want to do the level up in cleric or fighter. Because if I go fighter, it's all the different like uh, martial disciplines you have to choose between. Or for cleric, I get my level my second level spells. Oh. oh. Wait. Just a choice you're gonna have to make, right? I'm just like, mm, both of these things are incredibly useful. Uh, mm. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, never mind. No, I'm good. So, uh, you guys have exited out of like this. You exited out of this, like this, this portal that you clearly don't realize that it's from, like because you guys didn't ask any questions or do anything. So you guys don't know what the fuck We just happened. got popped out of a portal again. We're just, it's just like mulling over what the fuck just happened. So yeah. uh, you're in a room currently that is uh, about I would say about like 30 feet by 30 feet with a pillar of the obsidian pillar in the middle with a large crystal uh, up, uh, uh, on the ceiling, pointing down, and uh, the area that you came out of, you, you, when you came out, you went flying out and landed on your butt, like mm -hmm. that. And uh, we got the yeah, so and stay out. Yeah, basically. Uh, oh. as uh, Raven, you realize that uh, this area, your the air when you came out of this portal can no longer feel your god's presence. Ooh. Oh. That some That's a problem. Yeah, I, I'm sitting here like my character Grok is sitting is standing there trying to get up and just like <laughs> staring at his hands. I don't know what the worst part about what just happened is. I'm assuming Brock, a lot of bad. Yeah, Grok, Grok is just like that's worse than I thought it was. Is everyone all right? Something in is very. Grok's just in the corner, just kind of looking at his hands, like something is very wrong here. Gilbert's kind of like upside down against the wall, like. 
this world's upside down. <laughs> Weird. Are we, are we in the upside <laughs> down world? Just trots over, picks him up, <laughs> turns him right back around. Weird. This world's upside down. Oh, oh is first, that what the demon is doing? First, it was rocks and stuff. What? Then it was water. Now this one's upside down. Upside wow, down. what a theme! I'm I'm uh. confused. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just gonna sit sit there upside down, just confused. Scratch his little no. head, like, what the fuck is going on? Like I said, is wolf. It, my wolf is just gonna come over and pick you up and turn your right side up. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna go. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, the the party would probably know might notice Brock is looking incredibly concerned right now, and at his and hands, just, and uh, at his hands, and just Grok? in general. <laughs> Grok, is everything all right? I cannot feel the presence of my deity. Oh, that's... Something mm. is very wrong here. Oathbreaker? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not a paladin, thank god. Cl cleric <laughs> minus a god. Um, <laughs> I mean... It's just a regular it, person. <laughs> yeah, you're just a dude now. You're just, just a fighter a fucking at this dude. point. Uh, yeah, you're just a fighter. <laughs> mm. Concerning. Um, You're lucky I don't eat that. <clears throat> uh, Raven, I need you to do me a favor and roll me uh, three checks. I need you to roll me a constitution save. I need you to roll me a religion check. And I need you to roll me a perception check in that order. Constitution. Religion. And what was that last one? Perception. All right. Well, the the Constitution save saves you from throwing up. Okay. So yeah, yeah that's the that's, thing. That uh, the religion check. You realize that you. I, 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 I'm going to give you uh, advantage actually because you're you're a cleric. So that's roll it again. Roll it second time. Religion. Up again. Okay, nine. Two points. Not Cut great. Game two points. I mean, I yeah. I do have a negative one. So that's fair. <laughs> Uh, you uh, realize that not only do you not feel your god, you don't feel any god. You don't feel anything. Like you've oh been boy. excommunicated. Uh, as for perception check, you look around and you see no symbols of a god anywhere around here. Like in the room we're in, or... in the room that you're in. Okay, okay. In the room that you're in. Okay, so th this usually, be, th so usually, th yeah. in like a. I was about to say this being my this being where Grok's from, he probably recognized this place. I would yes. hope. So yes, this is your hometown. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just sitting here like, my, he would definitely know what this place used to look like. Yes, and it is vastly different. Oh. In fact, this area did not exist when you were when you were here. Oh. This... Also, you you said earlier there's an obsidian pillar in the middle of the room, right? Correct. Considering where we just were and what just happened, that does not bode well. Yep. I say, does it, it look like the same sort of? Does it look similar to the obsidian pillars that we saw before? Uh, yes. Yes, it does. It does look exactly the same. It's kind of That's like, it's kind of like black with like a reddish hue. Yeah, so Brock's just There's looking, like, Brock is I, looking, I, Brock looks around this area and he's just like, this is different. This is not what this place used to look like. What do you guys do? Nothing. That can't be good. Um, maybe <laughs> Not we should. He, he yeah. this, just sits down. All <laughs> going to walk around. All the of the religious symbols are gone. 
and stares at the obsidian pillar. And that's concerning. Perhaps, perhaps we should uh, ask around a bit? No. <laughs> then what do you think we should do? Nothing. What's, are you okay, Tupapu? I was trying to get a word in for the past five, for the fast, uh, last, I don't know, three paragraphs. Sorry. And it was just trampled over. Sorry, you didn't come through. Uh, okay. I mean, all I ever heard was, uh, like that. And I, it, I was, I just thought you were. That's talking. fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fine. Here, I'll just, okay, so just go, like go right ahead. <laughs> anyway, um, so Kira's just going to point out there's clearly there's a theme here, and somebody's pulling these strings that we don't exactly that I think we were underestimating. Yeah, because we were we were literally just pulled from going to one location. And drawn immediately somewhere else. Uh, questions? Yes, we should probably go around and try and figure out what the hell just happened there. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I felt it. Uh, fellow Genasi's name I'm forgetting because... Uh, Trizal. Trizal. Trizal, you, you felt that too, yeah? I did. Okay. So, yes, I think we should go and ask questions and try and figure out what the hell is going on here and see if we can delve a little deeper. Does there anybody have any ideas about where to head off from uh, to from here to try and gain some of these answers? Uh, Brock should know what what points of uh, interest are in this town or should be in this town as far as Brock's aware. Yeah, this is this is essentially your hometown. I, I, I know you, that's you why I'm very, asking. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, you're you're very knowledgeable in the area. Should be anyway. This area you've already mentioned is completely new. So this area that you are in is obviously new. some shit has changed. So yeah, but you're also in a room, so you don't yeah. know like so, much other than the room. And th thus my question: points of interest in this town that Grok would be aware of, that should be there, at very least, as far as he's concerned. Yes. That was a question, not a statement. Oh, there, <laughs> I mean, sorry. Um, can you repeat it? <laughs> yeah, I uh, thought you were doing a statement, and no, I was no, like, no. I just... No, I, I, I am asking, the I am asking you to fill in some blanks here, because as much as this is technically Grok's hometown, this is also a town and setting you have completely designed. So uh, my character is from here, therefore he should know about stuff. So what are some points of interest here that Grok should be aware of? Uh, yeah. There's the it's like a, it's a it's, it's a it's a port town. So there's a there's a large, very, very large yeah. port. There's a church. There's um, a guild hall. There's uh, merchant guilds. There's uh, ch chartering merchants. Okay, so uh, there's all, a bunch of all things considered, with especially with what Grok is feeling, I feel like the church is probably a, a wonderful spot to start with. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. So there should there's a church nearby. At very least, we can get that part of the questions answered. Perfect. I mean, the guy did say we were we were basically in a hellscape and we were in hell, so we're we're better a place to go and ask questions than a holy place. That I would probably know more that, about that than that and the absolute absence of feel of any deity, as far as I, I can that... feel. <laughs> also concerning, especially in context of what just happened. <laughs> Well, you guys have access to your characters, so you can yeah. move wherever you need to move. But where's this church on the map? Well, Dang it. if you look at the big building right next to us, it the numbers the the the, the church the you can see the numbers on the yeah. side, right? Yep. Yeah. So oh, yeah, Is there yeah the buildings guide? have numbers on them. Oh, so it's over there. Oh, there it is. Okay, I didn't even see right the here. thing. The number two. Yep, it's the one with that dude like part on top of it. Got it. 
yes. Um, All right, so, so Brock's going to obviously step out of the building that they are currently in. And just kind of... Okay. Anything weird outside? Uh, Just as you would notice as you exit out, uh, exit out, you... For being a bustling port city, there is not very much foot traffic. It's also like midnight. It's pretty dark. Oh, it's it's late. Okay. Yeah. Um, the act of you using the act, getting coming through the portal, has left like a big ruckus, and there's a couple guards that are outside. That were yeah. waiting for you to leave, essentially. Yeah. Um, we, we we come out of the portal and Brock would probably just have eye contact with the guard immediately nearby. Uh about that. So oh. um the guards that you see are hooded fi 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 uh, figures that you don't recognize. Oh. Um and as they're moving around, they're they, you don't see any arms. You don't see any legs. You just see basically a hood floating around. Like, kind of like Doctor Strange's cloak. That's some Final Fantasy Seven. Uh, okay, then Brock's not locking eyes with somebody. He's just staring at it. Like, yeah. Like, very questioningly. Just like, uh. wait, what? Have you ever watched Doctor Who and uh, you saw the headless creatures from Matt Smith's tenon? Matt Max Smith. I believe uh, I know what you're talking about, yes. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Uh, they have weapons on them. Uh, they have two daggers, one on each side of their cloak. And they look at you and in like a echoey, whispery voice, they ask you what you're doing here. Your friend is just gonna bust to the for bust the front, and he's gonna be like, "We come in peace, or <laughs> not peace. It, it's kind of up to you." <laughs> he's just kicking the door. Kick that door was door. a push door, and you kicked out kicked out the door. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Rock. <laughs> says I am originally from here we are on mission from the king <laughs> oh interesting all right well I'll have to report this to the higher ups and then all of a sudden the cloak just falls to the ground Funk. Brock uh, just stares at the this at the cloak on the floor now. She's like, "That's new." And then, and then the cloak comes back like a couple minutes later. As you, yeah, it, like 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 a, like two minutes later, the cloak just goes funk. Oh, goes back up. Still here, yeah. Uh, oh, well, you're still here. Yes. Uh, <laughs> It, oh, it's a different voice, too. Oh. Oh. Oh, and then if, Sorry. if oh, there's... Boo -Boo was trying to say something, guys. Oh, oh. Yep. Okay. okay, look. It was just the one time, all right? <laughs> Let's not turn this into a thing. I just, no, it I... was like the one time I wanted to like get out there and, and, and say something. I, I, like, I, I wanted, I was being, I was trying to be polite and, like, not kind of talk over anybody. I know. So it was kind of, like, my I, own fault, but... Unfortunately, in this group, you kind of have to. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's fair. That's fair. You have to, uh, anyway, you, you... so, uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna really beat him up. Everybody's ears. Um, so... No, um... So... Yeah, go ahead. Uh... Okay. Um, so... <laughs> I would like to roll, uh, or I'd like, uh, I want to figure out what these guys are, because the fact that he just, you know, what, like his, his robe went limp and he just, you know, to the floor and like just poof, disappeared, whatever the fuck. I want to know okay. what he is. 
Okay. Well, there's two types of roles you want to you you can do here. You can yeah. either roll investigation on on the cloak itself, or you can roll Arcana to find out if it's magic based. Although that uh, that's the only one you can do. Okay. Well, you rolled Arcana. Uh, oh, Raven rolled Arcana. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm probably just going to go with Arcana. I mean, I have been eyeballing it for the last few minutes, so. I feel like that's, yeah, well, either way. Well, you both rolled 10. Uh, it is, it is mildly to your, like, to your, to your senses, it's mildly magical. It, it's, it's kind of like what you would think of as a cantrip. Huh. And, uh. Can't identify the spell, unfortunately. Okay. Well then, uh, Brock's going to be like, well, if if that's all, I was headed. We we're headed to the church. I I I regret to inform you that there is a curfew in place. Oh. So I would like to get you guys to either a return to where you come from, or b. Go to the guard's house and wait until morning. I think the guard's house is probably the answer to that. It would be difficult to go Is there wine right in the guard's house? No. There are beds. That's... They sleep. That is very sufficient. I don't know enough wine and I can sleep anywhere. <laughs> so that's what you guys are doing? Yeah. All right. Well, they they walk you to the guard's house and they uh they point you into like a basically it's a jail cell. But it's not it's not closed. It's just a jail cell because oh. it has a bed in it. Yeah. Um and they're just like this is where you'll be staying for the night. Mm -hmm. Uh and then in the morning, we'll we'll register you and give you guys passports and you guys can move on. Okay. Where there'll be, where, where, will there be waffles? What's a waffle? That's a good question. <laughs> in the morning, we're making waffles. Is, is Germany in this world? We don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's for the guard house, apparently. Oh, don't worry about moving. I'm just gonna have you guys come back over here, in uh, the, like in the morning. All right. After you guys done, done with, because you guys want to go to the church anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, obviously we're at the guard's house for the night, but uh, is there anybody there except the disembodied cloaks? No. Okay. Uh, I also at the same time I need you guys to roll. Whoever is uh going, if you guys are going to sleep, roll roll investigation. Whoever, whoever is actively going to sleep, roll investigation. I'm not sleeping. It's going to suck for the next day, but I am I will take a point of exhaustion if I have to. I'm not sleeping. After the shit that just happened, I don't trust. Fair. Fair. This is kind of a weird situation, but as long as one of us is staying awake. <laughs> so Tubu Boo and Raven are the other ones sleeping? Dragon, Dragon are, you are you sleeping? Are you staying? What are you doing? He's sleeping right now. Dragon. God, did we lose Dragon? God <laughs> damn it. I forgot my mic was muted. <laughs> Fucking dogs were going nuts. Uh, no, I, I plan on staying awake. Okay. Uh, so, to Boo Boo and Raven, you guys uh, drift off into sleep. And as you guys go to sleep, you guys uh, see images and uh, visions of, well, Raven's god being technically tortured oh raven's god being stabbed and beaten and chained and whipped and like bits and pieces <laughs> of it being ripped off of its body putting into jars being not as kinky no definitely uh like literally like like pieces of skin being ripped off and grafted onto human bodies uh yeah. Pretty gross. pretty pretty gross. You guys wake up and you 
can go. It's now officially the morning. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Uh, that, that was weird. You too. Me too, what? Your dreams. Yeah. Yeah, a weird one. I, have I saw been. something like being <clears throat> I don't I don't know I don't know what it was, but it was just being tortured. And I I I, I have never I seen torture before. I don't know if it's the same being you saw, but that was my day anyway. Fuck. Well if you don't oh. know what being it was that I saw how could you know it was dead? Because you know I also I saw know. someone being tortured and that's who it was. Oh. Oh, we that makes to, more sense. We need to go to the church. I dropped the knife on my leg! <laughs> God damn it! Oh, I was what oh. heard the very distant fuck! <laughs> fuck! Did it stab God you? damn it! Yes! I'm putting a band-aid on it. <laughs> Super glue! It, it landed, it landed, it was a sharp, it was a sharp steak knife, and it landed point side down into Ooh. my thigh. Oh. <laughs> Fuck! Uh, don't know why you need why you had that you on your that? desk, but okay. I was eating with it! Oh, that <laughs> makes sense. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you'll be all right. Uh, oh, well. Can I be loud? No. Damn it. All right. Yeah. Uh, I... Brock definitely wants to make his way to the church now. So, uh, uh, as you get up and start moving around in the guardhouse, the guards stop you and they're like, "Hey, hey, hey, hey! We need to register you first. And they like the the cloak, like it, the uh, the the inside of the cloak, like a book comes out and it like floats over to the desk, lands on the desk, and the 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 book opens up to an area, and on and on the book, there's like a series of names and dates and they're like please write your name in the book and today's date so we can register you and get you an identification card because you can't go around town without an identification card but mom i don't wanna well it's either you he's, do that or you stay here he's joking it goes to follow yeah Oh yeah, Grok, in, in the interest of hurrying the fuck up, yeah, goes and does that. Uh-huh. Alright, so are you guys all writing your names down? Yes. all will write a name down. You can write a uh, name down, sure. Specifically, a name. <laughs> yeah, He's... a space name. No, <laughs> it, it, it's going to be an actual name. It's just not necessarily going to be his name because he doesn't trust right now after all that shit that's been going down. That's fair. They're not going to they're not going to card you. That's smart. Not like they could. <laughs> Care for us is going to do the same. Uh, for everyone who's not writing their actual name, I need you to roll me the de uh, de deception. Deception. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. It... Huzzah! <laughs> Ty, you're not even writing a name down. They realize immediately that you're not writing your name. They're like, <clears throat> actual name, please. <laughs> yeah, real name, please. And what makes you think that isn't my real name? I haven't even got to write anything down yet. You see the look we in your tell, eyes and the can, way you're carrying We can yourself. tell uh, they... they, they they explained that they uh, that they could tell because of uh, insight rolls. Excuse me, sir. I do not need your face in my face right now. I and Drizal will put his name. But father, meow. And uh, Tabubu, you you managed to put down. Uh, you you and Dragon managed to put down false names. I like how I'm the one who came up with the idea, and I, yet I'm the one who gets cock-blocked. Yep. Listen, it's not my fault the dice roll said fuck you! 
<laughs> this is why I hate using roll 20 dice. <laughs> What, you would rather roll your loaded dice? Hmm. You don't have loaded dice. Uh, that's why I thought. Yeah. I fucking wish. I, was <laughs> Listen, I, have, I don't dice. even use dice. I don't use dice. I use cards. I have dice cards. <laughs> Put the one that I really want on top and then just throw it down on the ground. <laughs> I pull a Yu-Gi-Oh and just part of the cards that shit. So you cheat. So you cheat. Yes. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> Essentially, that's exactly what he said. For anyone who doesn't know, the whole point of the Millennium Puzzle is that it gives you the card that you want. It literally <laughs> fucking magically shuffles the deck in the way that you fucking need it to. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So. Sketch. Part of the cards is just cheating. Yes. All right. Well, and how do you explain every other character in that series who does the whole heart of the guards thing, and it's not they don't have a millennium item? How do you explain religion? How do you explain anything in that game? <laughs> how do you explain anything in the end? The end of all, the no all, it ta all it takes is one guy actively fucking around and making it look like it's a legit thing for a bunch of people to believe it's a legit thing, and just. Hey, I'm gonna you... just say heart of the cards. Maybe that'll work out for me. <laughs> and wait, wait, occasionally it how does. Do you summon... How do you summon three monsters on your turn and still able to attack? The, <laughs> the game makes no sense in the Yu-Gi-Oh! in the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. <laughs> yeah, because isn't this you, you, you don't like get summoning sickness? sickness. Yeah, you get no su you get no summoning sickness. You get no I don't know why I'm going off this rant, but you <laughs> you get no summoning sickness, you get no there's no penalty to uh, to uh, synchro summons, and there's no fucking uh oh god, it's just um... <clears throat> I did not mean to open this can of worms. I was just making a joke. That can of worms has been so opened. mad. So mad at Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> so to bring bring us back on topic here. <laughs> what name what name um... does Dragon write? <laughs> So Gilbert attempts to write his own name, but he fucks it up so badly it looks like giblet. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just you know, he puts a pot. No, he puts a paw print down. <laughs> yeah, and then he just and but yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but he rolled so high in deception that it didn't matter. The typo is now it, real. No, no, wait. I I got one better. Now you you can say no to this, but this is great. <clears throat> you you go to put your like paw print down, right? Because your intelligence score is low. When mm -hmm. you put your instead of putting a pop print down, it becomes calligraphy. <laughs> I'm okay just, with this. It just draws like the perfect name, perfectly, perfectly done, and everyone looks at you and just goes, "What the fuck?" <laughs> just gonna I stopped shrug. asking. <laughs> just, just gonna shrug. I don't know. <laughs> All right. I don't and know Tupu, you, you managed to put down a fake name as well. So what's what your fake name? fake name? Yes. Okay, good. You get to choose your fake name. What's your fake name? Do you want do you want first and last or just first? I don't care. Just pick something. Pick something funny. <laughs> Imagine he puts down Lincoln. <laughs> last name Park. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> or fir first name Abe. <laughs> <laughs> Honest Abe. Honest Abe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I'm typing it into the chat. Yep. I can see that. Oh. Oh, God. I had one. <clears throat> See, this is the kind of sessions I like where we <laughs> just get the fuck around and <laughs> fuck be around funny. for a few minutes. Occasionally, things happen. All right, so you guys are now registered. They give you cards, right, with uh, whatever name that you wrote down on it, mm -hmm. right? And on these, these cards are. Magical in nature, you can tell that they uh, they have like um, <clears throat> they have an aura to them. Uh, 
Glenn Shark Piro. God damn it. <laughs> okay. Do we get the play on words? Yes. Sort of. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I love it. I love it. Uh, yeah. So you guys start making your way back to the church. Uh, still realizing that the town is very bare bones, even to like Raven's Eye. This town is very not very many people are in it. Um, and the people that are in it are kind of like staring at you, like they're just like, "What the fuck? Who are you? What are you doing here?" type of situation mm. and now that it's like in the day you can definitely tell that these cloaked figures are not actually there there's just like they're just like cloaks floating around interesting all right so i just kind of moved my character token around to the church all right, you uh, go to the church, and the doors are open. Okay, heading on in. Roll me investigation. All right, it's the church. Yeah, sure is. Uh, you go in, but you don't see any holy symbols anywhere inside the church. Lack of holy symbols in a church. Yep. Hey, that, yep. That is what your five investigation shows God, you. Damn it. You also don't see Not much better. of anything. It'd be a lot better if I could get my intelligence up. Fuck. Right? Just for shits and giggles, I'll attempt. <laughs> no. <laughs> you see less. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's the but, door? Uh, <laughs> investigation, yeah. investigation when the You're entire just in a corner. <laughs> this is Where's like, the door, guys? It's cold here, guys. <laughs> Sitting in a corner. But, investigation uh, yeah, so checks you... when the entire party has intelligence for their dump stat. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you, uh... Uh, upon, like, walking through the church, you realize that there's nobody even in here. Not even... Wow. Okay. Not even like a pastor or anyone praying or anything like that. There is a there is a there is a book on the uh, uh, on the uh, pedestal on the back that you can that you realize that is probably a Bible, but has no holy symbol on it. Okay, just as uh just because we have a bad history with books, Rock's gonna kinda poke the book before he opens it. It is a book. You, okay. Nothing happens. Okay. Rock's gonna open it up to see what it is. It has blank pages. Okay. There's no religion here. Yay, a perfect atheist society. <laughs> also, um, so I I was a little bit late to the investigation rolls, but I did get a ten. Is there anything else we know I noticed? Uh you can see that like in the church there's a uh uh where you would notice that there would be like a back room. There is no back room behind the pews or any of that stuff. There's no candles to light. There's no, um, there's nothing like nothing like that at all. There's there basically are what what you would assume is a church it would be like what AI would think church would look like. Like <laughs> it's 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 just like bare bones and pews and like and like like uh, a pedestal in the middle of the room and that's it Let's see so what are you guys doing 
was their uh, uh-huh. Paris is going to turn over and uh, and, uh, and address uh, Grok and be like, is there anything in there? No, it's devoid of basically everything. Oh, which so just is like, a just concern like in and of itself, honestly. But agreed. We need mm-hmm. to find somebody who knows something. Maybe, maybe we can ask one of the guards, uh, or if we can. Uh, that was my that was my next go to. So I would say either that or maybe go to the local tavern, see what gossip's going around. We could split up, mm-hmm. cover more ground that way. You know, just kind of yeah, where we can all find out, and we'll meet. Uh near something big at high noon. We're all just standing there like looking at each other. Like... I'm I'm looking at the map right now to see what would what would be the thing to sit to go by. Uh yeah, no, we just, could just, just come back to the church. Yeah, we could meet back, back at the church, the church later on. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So, who wants to go where? Right, well, Brock's gonna walk out of the church and find the nearest cloak. That answers that. Who would like to come with me to the tavern? <laughs> Grab a pint and listen to gossip. Yeah. Gilbert will raise his little paw, but he's still still in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> me! <laughs> me! And I got a phone call. Oh. Gilbert will ride on the wolf. I was just gonna say, <laughs> just, just I was just gonna kind of motion over to his wolf to pick Gilbert up, put him on his back, <laughs> so Gilbert gets to ride on the wolf. It's fine. All right. Gilbert's just like mighty steed. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's have let's do. The let's do Raven talking to the guard yeah, first. That's I'll like you guys... more immediate yeah. while everyone else is walking off to their destiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then you know, I'll where is I'll, the tavern I'll say so eight. Where. I'll say eight is where the tavern is in the eight? center of town. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So yeah the Grok goes up to the the closest cloak. And just kind of gets its attention. It uh, it looks at you and goes, "Hello, uh, can I help you?" Yes. What happened to the church? Can you explain what you mean by that? There's, like, is there anybody who works there? A priest or? No, it's been vacant for. A while. So, uh, is is there? Do, do you uh, do you guys ship any deities here? Why do you ask? And it says it in like a darker, deeper tone. Okay, what is sorry it? about what that. It it's we can't. I can't help but notice the complete lack of any sort of religious symbol symbols anywhere in the town. Oh. Thus the question. The cloak, like, falls to the ground. And all the other cloaks in the area, poof, fall to the ground. Oh, I don't like oh. that. Okay. Last time they did that, they were talking to somebody. I don't like that they all did it at the same time. I also don't like this. And then the uh, couple minutes pass. And boom, we come back up. A different voice comes out. More uh, authoritarian voice. Ah, they got the manager. <laughs> they got the manager. What the fuck? Listen, Karen! <laughs> 
They went to get the manager. Got it. All right. Uh, it's more, yeah. The, uh, there, the authoritarian voice comes out and it comes out of the voice and goes, okay, what is it you're looking for? What do you want? What are you looking for? Religion? More, not, not specifically, just something. How to say this? Um, we're here on mission from the king to find something that he felt was wrong here. And we we have no real clues to go off of, but the one thing we notice that is very different from other places is the lack of religion and religious symbols. So I felt starting there might be the might be putting us on the right track. So the uh oh sorry go on oh okay yeah you did it uh. So, um so care, care for us this is more of a character this is more of an out out of character uh mm -hmm. like yeah. recognition of of um maybe a slight a little bit of fresh anger or upsetness yep. I, I out of character yeah. i've also been getting a sense that that might be there might be more of a authoritarian legal purpose to the lack so, of the religion which is why i i, I I feel like Grok is also noticing the tone, and he's kind of moving his question around to other things so as to not let on to what he's actually thinking currently. So Make this do... more about the mission from the king and less about him being concerned about his uh, clericness. Right. Um, so I want to do an investigation check just to see if, like, if he actually, like, if he actually is angry, or if that was just the way you were saying it. So, uh, oh well, it doesn't matter because I can't tell the difference. Apparently, uh, That's yeah, the, the insight check does not does not go through. It it essentially. I also would have had you roll it uh, roll it at disadvantage anyway. Yeah, because there's okay. no person there to be showing yeah. signs. All right, I'm I'm curious. I just want to see. Yeah, so you uh, still would have rolled a three. I still would have rolled a three. Oh, yeah. What happened? Um, so the uh, the guard like the guard like starts to like. You can tell that the uh, the the cloaked figure is kind of trying to avoid this conversation. Mm -hmm. I bet. Mm -hmm. Um, he just tells Grok and... more and more that this person that he's on the right track with this line of questioning. So <laughs> it it. <laughs> The guard, the uh, all the cloaks uh, on the street and everything like that, they all like kind of start to jitter and shake, and the and then all the cloaks like poof, gone, all of them, uh, ev the whole city, like, not even eventually. hit the ground. They just yeah, gone, including the one we were talking to. Yes, like. From what you can see, all the way down the street, all of them just like poof, gone. And that is definitely not a good sign. Definitely the not. uh the the party that was leaving to the inn also noticed this on their travels. They were passing by, and all of a sudden, poof. Uh, gone. Can't be good. Um. You guys start to feel this. Uh, anyone who's magically inclined, mm -hmm. and so Raven and and Kai. I'm not uh, magically inclined. Are you not? Don't you have? Are you not I mean, Arcana? Range, Ranger doesn't te like. Oh, Ranger has technically. spells technically. Sort of. Yeah, I guess Matt would also be the mess out here right <laughs> yeah, now. That. Yeah, that. Fucking, I did it again. Did you drop that knife again? No, I dropped insulin needles. On oh, it's about okay. Part. All right. <laughs> so, so okay, magically inclined. So I notice something, and potentially, yeah. So you notice potentially that this. <laughs> yeah, you notice this sharp, like 
daggery lightning bolt going through your head, essentially. Like, but it's not like physical pain. Like you're not getting hit by lightning, mm -hmm. but you feel like something has reconnected to you and you can feel their pain. And the pain is really bad. So I need you to roll be a constitution safe. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> yeah, Raven, you don't save. So, uh, I don't know why Ty. I guess yeah, it was more, that you... more. I think I think he was meaning that I reconnected to my okay. blood suddenly, and I'm feeling the pain of being tortured. <laughs> yeah, you are feeling the pain of your flesh being ripped from your body. What fun! Oh, lovely. And I did not I save that. that. Okay, you did not save. Yep. You are you are debilitatingly debilitatingly okay. like yeah. in pain. Right right next yelling right like, next yeah, yeah, right next right next to uh Tabu's character, my character drop kind of drops to his knees, like gripping his head and just crying out in pain. I have no idea what's going on. I was like, what Yeah, I, the I, fuck? I bet. I bet. <laughs> no um, no visual okay, signs. Looking around for the others. No visual sign of anything of, of any reason for it. He just hits the ground. <laughs> yeah, essentially, uh -huh. you just like fall to your knees. Ah, gone. Like just and like after like a couple minutes of it, you just fall to your side and you're unconscious. Lovely. Uh, Taboo, what are you doing? Um. Care is still in shock as to what he's watching right now. And he's just like, oh, yeah, not only fuck? Yeah, not only did all the guards just suddenly fucking poof out of existence, now Grok hit the ground screaming and then fell unconscious. For seemingly uh, no reason. Yeah. <laughs> I think at that point, Care is going to um Care's just gonna be like, okay, and like go and hoist him up on his shoulder like fireman carry style and start heading towards or in the general direction that he thinks like the, the tavern town center would be. All right. Um, okay. Time to bring this time to figure this out as a group. Oh. Uh, Ty, you yeah. and dragon reach the, it reach the, uh, the tavern. And at this point in time, you could hear Raven screaming. For like a couple minutes there. Well, that's how quiet the town is. You could hear that yeah. from across the town. Yeah. Essentially, when the guards left, there was nobody left in town. There's nobody there. Poof, gone. Even all the we're people all that were that were staring, yep. they're just gone. Everything. Shit. Uh. Uh. I need. I need you. To. I need the two of you to roll me. An investigation and then an insight check in that order. Just oh no! Second. All right. Invest investigation and then what? And then insight. Okay, that's not too bad actually. God damn it! Yeah, at least one of you rolled decent. Um. And then insight. And then insight. Hey! Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, My inside, okay, so... I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, Dragon... That was a flat roll for me. Dragon. Yeah. When when uh, when uh all the guards disappeared and Raven started screaming, you could kind of hear it in the background, Uh, the world that you're in starts to flash between this bright colored area to, like, this dark, dingy, like kind of broken down type of city and then like it's it it, fade, it it goes in and out of this reality essentially like and then brings you back okay. to the main reality same thing goes with ty except for you the only thing you sense is that something is wrong that's all you can sense is that something is wrong about the city that you're in i'm just gonna grab my eyes Yeah, eventually, essentially, you just got fucking flashbanged. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I'm just gonna sit on my ass. Sitting on the wolf. I was saying you're you're on the wolf. Yeah, the wolf you're sitting you up. When we, <laughs> I think you had to answer your call, but the wolf picked you up, and you're on the wolf's back right now. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, uh, I'm just gonna sit there and grip my fucking eyes. You all right, Gilbert? Seen shit. Flashing. Hurt. Ow. Something isn't right here. I no. think we need to regroup. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Can't we're see. gonna make our way back towards the others. Just cover your eyes for now. It'll be all right. All right. As uh, all you me. guys, as you guys uh, start walking back about midway, about like right here, right here where I'm pinging, you guys meet up yeah. with each other. Like at that point. I can't drag you. That's okay. Don't worry about it. We don't need to do that don't overworld care. stuff. That's fine. Um, you see Tabubu carrying an unconscious raven. Hair, what happened? So, get this. We talked to a guard. Guard poofed. Came back. Answered question, poofed. He screamed, started, started scratching away at his head, but like not like in a mm, I'm thinking kind of way, but in like a oh my skull is on fire kind of way. <laughs> and uh, then he blacked out, and I am confused and afraid. The guards well, aren't the only more ones confused who are on than here. afraid, but confused. Gilbert's still just sitting there holding his fucking eyes. Oh, it's over now. Oh, yeah, it might be over, but he's still just sitting there holding his eyes. Like, he just can't believe this shit. All right. This well, what you, what you, what's your plan now? Problem. We need to figure out what to do. We need to find somewhere safe to sit and talk and yes. look after Grok. Mm -hmm. Also not be heard. Uh, while Raven, yeah. while this is going on in Raven's head, currently in Raven's head. In uh, Raven's head. Yeah, <laughs> you Meanwhile, see, in Raven's he head. sees uh, images and he's talking to his Essentially, he's talking to his god, to his deity, oh, uh, right. who is oh, this, this. being tortured and ripped apart. But like, is you guys are having like an active conversation currently? Yeah. And okay, yep. Yeah. So, I think the only question that I think Brock could ask: What is happening? Just, I, I. Wish I could tell you, I, it, it happened so suddenly, all of a sudden, just the pain, they, uh, just death and destruction, and they're they're manipulating me. They're using my powers against me. Do you know where are you? How can I stop this? I don't know where I am. All I know is I am trapped. I'm trapped in this hellish landscape. It's dark. Very dark. I can't see much of anything other than glimpses of of elves and, and and dragonborn and everything and they're all being tortured alongside me I don't know 
know what to do. Yeah. I'm, ge I'm genuinely scared. And then, I, yeah, like, I will try to figure this out. You better hurry. I don't have a lot of time left. Oh. And then, like, within, like, a couple minutes of, of uh, them saying that, you snap out and you are now back with the crew and you have your powers. You have your cleric oh, powers. Oh, okay. That at least. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, while well, during that was happening, a full day has passed. So you guys yeah. can do anything before that has happened. So like, you guys were going back to the inn or whatever to do a conversation while Raven was unconscious. So what 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 is your plan that you guys well, have? Well, we. I was going to say, we were trying to find somebody, or somewhere to be, not necessarily the inn, but... Oh. Uh, there is a vacant home that you could possibly break into at number 11. Hmm. Breaking and entering, probably not the best idea. Just in I mean, case. Who knows? We don't know what's going on. Yeah, so you you call that one house vacant? Like the entire town is fucking vacant at this point. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's also fair. Um, honestly, I almost wonder if it'd be safer to go out of town. looking at the party. I mean, I'm technically still out cold, so... Yeah, but there's two other people. Yep. Um... There are. We're just gonna kind of shrug his... In... Break out, break, break into a house, or like outside of town. Well, guys, what do you guys do? We we was on way to in, so why not go there? All right. What do you think, Care? Shall we go to the inn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inn sounds good. Right. Yeah, let's not break into a house. That doesn't really... It doesn't uh, sound like a good idea. No. All right. The dudes can, so just guess... poof, can just puff into nothing and then puff back up. Uh, Something tells me there's eyes everywhere. Care Which takes one point of paranoia damage. Thank you, Frank. <laughs> All right. So I guess we'll head towards the inn, find a uh, place to set up. All right. You guys enter into the inn. The inn is, uh, well, it's vacant. There's something in here. There's this, yeah. like, what you can see is that, like, um, Bottles of there's bottles of booze on the wall. There's you know like there's uh, glasses of mead on the ta on the on the tables and everything. It looks like everything was here when whatever happened happened. What are you guys doing? Well, let's grab a seat, I suppose. Might want to uh, prop poor Grok up against a wall. Sit him down. Alright. 
Yeah. He's a bit too big to sit in the booth. Care, care, uh, uh, care, <laughs> care huh. tries to put him down in a seat. Realizes it's a, realizes it's a, it's a little bit harder than he was expecting because of the angle of the chair and how he's got the body. So he's just like, uh, kicks the chair out of the way, just lightly, not like a. I'm not going for a goal line, goal line fucking. <laughs> not you kick the chair really through to... not only the wall but the wall next to it. Exactly. <laughs> Um and into my neighbor's dog, um, I, <laughs> no! the, I just kind of scoot, I just kind of scoot the chair out the way and just like, go to gently lean him, fail to gently do so, and it kind of throw him up against the wall and just kind of, <laughs> <laughs> Gary's mod ragdoll. <laughs> like, Sorry, uh, Gary's mod ragdoll. You you tried your best, Gary. It's okay. <laughs> All right, are you guys? Resting for the night? Or are you guys talking stuff out? What are I you doing? figured we were going to sit and talk so, uh, talk, and wait for Grok to wake up. That sounds like a good idea. Um, while everybody sits down, Care will go up to the bar. Okay. At the inn, which totally has a tavern, right? Well, you're at the tavern. You're not an inn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're at the tavern. Never mind. I mean, I, for whatever reason, I was thinking we went back to the inn. Typically, um, inns and taverns are in the same building. Yeah. Typically, yeah. you and me are in the same building. Um, but he he'll go up and he'll he'll grab uh mead people. Mead. All right. Uh, you grab a you grab like a a, a mug of mead. Like uh, out out of uh out of it out of the uh cask and realize that it is flat. It is there is no. Oh. It looks like it's been sitting there for a while. I'm gonna sniff it <laughs> and uh, take just a tiny little sip, sippy sip. All right, roll invest, roll uh. Constitution. Well, constitution. Best, oh. Destitution. <laughs> constitution. Free, uh, free destitution. Dysentery. <laughs> Since I'm made of rock, <laughs> take advantage. Unfortunately, <laughs> no. No, unfortunately not. Oh, shoot. Shh, Ty, you're not the DM. Stop. Stop trying to fucking guide the thing. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Oh, okay. Of course, that's the what. <laughs> you have a plus four to your constitution. I know. Don't even. I know, but it's you, a nineteen. Uh... It's like my highest. Skill. Like if if I were to fail that, I would have been shocked. Uh, right. You, uh, <laughs> you 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 take a sip of it. It's it's it is very skunk. It's very skunk, but you're not gotcha. sick from it. <laughs> Just tips it over, and, and because I'm stubborn and I want and I want to do this, um, yeah, I'm gonna I, I want to do an investigation check and see if there's any other alcohol that looks like it might still be good. Wine is sure. Roll good. investigation. Fuck. All of the alcohol here is basically looks like it's been there for long enough to become vinegar. It's pretty bad. Is there like dust lines around? Yeah, the, it's, you it's pick up a, bear, a bottle or something. Yeah, maybe if you're really lucky, I'll let you roll another investigation roll to see if you can find a bottle of whiskey because whiskey doesn't go bad that bad that quickly. <laughs> I know it takes a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. You know what? I'll let you do another investigation roll. You managed to find some like. After like scrounging through and like throwing bottles around, like sniffing them and going, oh fuck, that's gross, that's gross, that's gross, that's gross. Like an hour later, you finally find like a bottle of like half drank whiskey in the back of a back of a closet. It's it was it was the bartender's uh secret stash. Yeah. I could just see it now, just carriages like coming up from behind the bar. Yeah, yeah. And everybody's just sitting down <laughs> over at the table, like looking over, like, "What the fuck, dude?" 
Carol, of course, is not paying any attention to what's going on around him, and he's just like, yes, whiskey. Did you finally find something to drink, friend? Oh, oh, uh, yeah, there's, there's whiskey. Everything else was bad, like, it, like, it hadn't been touched in a long time, and everything just smelled really bad. I think this is, this place has been empty for a while now. But whiskey. Yeah. About that. I put my fucking heart rate monitor upside down. <laughs> Sounds like Overkill might need some whiskey. Definitely would like some. Definitely but I have it seems problems. like it. I would love some, but I have kidney problems. But, uh, yeah. So, is that it? After him going through everything, are you guys... We're just waiting you... for Grok to wake up at this point. All right. Uh, about I would say about six hours pass, and then I was gonna a... say I'm gonna I'm probably gonna be dozing in my seat because I because <laughs> two of us did not sleep last night. Yeah, mm -hmm. are you gonna take another point of exhaustion? No, That's I'm gonna, gonna sleep say. here at the table. I'm gonna take um... a nap at the table. <laughs> the two people that that didn't sleep close their eyes and go to go to sleep and. Rock you just hear thunk with like with like uh, like a quarter with you know now a quarter bottle of whiskey. He's just like, don't worry, guys. I'll just keep watch. You guys take a nap. <laughs> oh, great <laughs> watch. My wolf Sorry. is also <laughs> keeping watch. About it's six a magical hours... companion. It doesn't have to sleep, so it gets to help keep watch. About six hours pass, and in like basically to Raven, a flash of light wakes up immediately. Like fuck, he's awake. Oop. Be right back. I ordered. I ordered. Assuming he's here. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Grok gets up with a start all of a sudden and just kind of looking around, trying to get his bearings for a minute. Grok startled waking uh, waking up probably wakes us. <laughs> Just all just pops back up just now. Confused what? as <laughs> shit. The grok for right now. Just like, what the fuck? The one thing you do notice, Grok, is that when you wake up, you can feel your god's presence, but it's very weak. Mm. Extremely weak. You only have like one or two spell slots. So what are you guys doing? What are you guys up to? Like at very, oh. le at very least, Grok would probably recognize the inside of the tavern. Well, you have recognized it as a tavern. But you've you've rarely gone inside. Okay. Being a holy man, you've rarely gone inside the tavern. I mean, a holy man of a war god. I call uh, shenanigans. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> The holy man of war. It completely on the god. I uh, that depends on the god. I I literally worship a god of war. Uh I I'm sure. Okay, you've been you've been in here before. Yeah, not to mention yes. it's the tavern in Grok's hometown. It probably even just for food at points. You've probably yeah, been in taverns there. aren't all about debauchery and stuff. So. Yeah, just kind of looking around, recognizes the inside of the tavern, and just kind of like. Switches from confusion about where the fuck he is to, wow, this, this place looks abandoned. Oh, confusion. yeah. Yeah, you should, uh, I, I you should ask Care what alcohol he found. <laughs> That's, this is not the way I remember this place being. I believe uh, Gilbert and I had our own little experience not long after you had yours. I... My goddess is being tortured. I felt her pain. Being held good. somewhere 
I beyond that I don't know. Something isn't right here. In this town, the guards disappeared at the same time the people that we thought were here disappeared as well. This place looks long uh -huh. abandoned. I mean... Yeah. I mean, after we returned to the castle that first time from the first place we went, the king did say a long period of time had passed. Yes, they did. So, but that does not explain why there were people here earlier, but not now. Hey, Raven, do me a favor. Yeah. Roll me investigation and insight, please. Oh, yeah, you definitely feel something wrong. Oh, yeah. No, but, like... I don't see the in... thing like like Gilbert did, but I, I feel it. No. Yeah, it, it, it's strong. You feel it. You have the like same with, feeling that I with, have. With that 25, any, like, specifics? Like, a direction? or No, it's I just, mean, just I everywhere. Just, I got was just that, a so. general... Well, I was hoping maybe this, maybe I hit a diff an extra DC being two points higher. Fair. No, the, there is no <laughs> extra DC to. Insight, it's just a it's just a general shit feels yeah. wrong. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, I spoke with my goddess. She did not know where she was. We need. I assume that has something to do with the current issues. Gilbert, earlier you were holding your eyes. Was there something that happened? Hey, uh, Dragon, you, you muted again? He might be trying to figure out how to say it in single syllables, too. <laughs> also that. Yeah, that that was part of it, and yes, I was muted again. <laughs> a little bit of column A, a little of column B. We got you, buddy. Whole place <gasps> flashed. Um... That that's the best I'm gonna gonna get right, right at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Whole place. Flat. I mean, if you want to say flat. like, basically, he says something to to the extent of this. Yeah, it, I'll I'll explain explain what happened and yeah. Uh, it's to the extent of, I uh Gilbert seen a whole different perspective. Of the place, like it, this was like some kind of like uh magic trap room or, or of some kind. Like it, it's um, it, it's not what it seems, and uh, th there's no no other way for me to ex uh, explain it as in. Yeah. Uh, he got a glimpse of it, and it was like really dark and uh, bad uh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was it was dark, and there was red. And that was a 
that was about all he, he could pretty much gather from in, in between the pain of the flash of bright world to dark world and back. Yeah. Well, uh, Grok, this is your home. What do you think we should do? Where should we start? Uh, a lot of my usual assumptions for that already kind of go out the window with the lack of people around to question. Uh, Fair enough. Okay, so uh, out of character, Dave. Yeah, yeah. I note on the uh, the guide to the town there is a, a place listed as the prince's quarters. Yep. So that, this place does have like a king and there's prince. A, yeah, and... There, okay. So yeah, obviously. I see I see the prince's quarters, but I don't see like a town hall slash king's residence or like castle or anything listed. Oh. So I'm just Oh, I just realized that this is not so this is before I saved. Oh, so you had changed that on your Yeah, end, but this, this is, is like way a different because like thing. Okay. Yeah. I, I was just eyeballing the, the key for the map, just like, all right, what would be a half decent spot even if nobody's there? Um uh wait one second. Sorry. Uh yeah, so twelve is fine. Oh, okay. Eleven is not the eleven is supposed to be something else. Ten is supposed to be something else. The three is supposed to be something else. Cool. Anyway, all right. So, so long and so long and short. There, if there's a king, obviously there's a castle as well. Yeah. So, uh, but not really, because it's there's no. It's a, it's a town. You, from what, so it there's no there's no castle, like as you would think of like. You know, like it's more of a manor, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's like a manor. It's basically yeah. So the prince's quarters is like the manor where the the royals of this area do are supposed yeah. to be living. Okay. Well, there's no S at the end of it. Yeah, but anyways, so I guess Brock's response is the only place I can think of that we could go, even without any people present. The the royals of this area live in a manor here in town. If, even if there's nobody around, I feel like there might be some clues there as to what was going on. At this point, Kara is heavily inebriated. And <laughs> at the mention of at the mention of manor, he goes, Mines are manners. Mm. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> just like his just head uh, back a little bit. I think Care needs to sleep before we do anything else. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't. Really I think. Do. I think. Uh, I, I think that is walk. where we're gonna end the session for today. Is uh, before we go to the uh, the princess. Before we get too much into plot and yeah, leave poor Matt behind. Yeah. yeah. Which I get. What is he the just excuse? gets to get teleported in? Yeah. Oh, uh, this. I wonder. If, oh, I'm no, just thinking. I'll, 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 I'm, I'm just I'll wondering what is the reason that he's not here officially? Did he just get left behind in the portal room, or? Uh, no. He's 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 at he's in that room that you originally went to. He just kind of like left you know there. how you went and did. Yeah. He how was, we got teleported? Oh. We all. You guys we, get we teleported all, out. We he's, all. He's yeah, still there. We all. Uh, yeah. The portal room. Not the port, no, to... the in between room, the hellscape oh. room. Oh, he's just yeah. stuck in there. Oh, yes. 
All right. I mean, as a oh, warlock, damn. as a <laughs> warlock, maybe not the worst place to be. <laughs> I it's wonder. Fine, I wonder if there's some plot there involving his patron for how he's just kind of hanging there. Oh, we'll see. We'll find out, I guess. I have to. I have to write some stuff down anyway, so maybe I'll add some stuff. I don't know. Yeah. I've run I'm, out I'm of material. Say... As... So, I mean, on the same note that you fucked around with my character's goddess at this point, pulling some shit with his patron is not out of the question. Nope, definitely not. <laughs> definitely I'm something I, I would that... do. I was say, I guess, I'm just gonna guess that we, uh, our characters, forgot him because. Ha, shenanigans the world the, this whole realm is fucked up. everything is fucked right from the minute we set foot in here and we're no nobody's noticed the absence of the incredibly abrupt uh warlock <laughs> you know i was wondering why it was so quiet <laughs> is there a matt's the quiet one here i was gonna say yeah but when he talks yeah when the warlock opens his mouth, oh no, boy. don't be dick. Don't be dick. I will <laughs> no. I will forever laugh oh. at last time when we had the combat and he was had the, the wild magic surge thing going on. <laughs> and I didn't realize I was muted. And I just I swear to god if you target my wall. Yep. Like the, I'm gonna use it on the wolf, not the other guy in range. Pop. <laughs> but then he wasn't that. actually in range, and then it's like, well, <laughs> I was like, I swear to God, if you use it on me, but I was muted the entire time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the channels in the description below, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Later, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey. There we go. Well, since uh, we have tons of time left, do you guys want to play a game? Sure. Other than Ty? Because Ty's going to go to bed. I've paid no part. going to no. go zone out in Star too. Rail or in YouTube. YouTube? I'm God damn it. So faded right now. I Fade. wish. Fade. I'm faded. And I've been drinking I'm bringing up my food. last two gummies, Ty, and you can get have a good time. I smoked so much last night because one of my friends tried a gummy for the first time. Oh. And I was like, I got you. I'll get high alongside you. So I grabbed my pen and was smoking. I smoke an indica blend. I was so tired. <laughs> That's where you fucked Done. up. <laughs> I got couch locked in my chair on YouTube and I went silent after like my friend who was also high ended up going to bed. And I'm sitting in the voice chat with like three other people. They're all chat chattering on and I'm just staring at YouTube shorts just going through them. Ugh. And every once in a while giggling or something. <laughs> And I finally was like, I think I'm going to go to bed, guys. And they're like, we thought we'd lost you like an hour ago. And I was like, nope, I've been here the entire time. I've been here the whole time. Oh, my God. There we go. I've killed Raven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Sad violin. All right. What are we doing? What are we playing? Do you want to play something? Yeah, we definitely can. There's definitely a possibility. Absolutely, it's a possibility. Everything's a possibility when you have mad. Everything is awesome. <laughs> Everything is awesome. All right. Anything so... is possible with popsicle. Let's see here. What we got with the. <sighs> Crack open Steam. One I mean, of my retro games. I did. I did manage to get uh, last. I did manage to get Remnant to uh, updated after the last oh, time. Oh, good. 
but not that that matters since we're not playing it tomorrow. But yeah, I, I I was going through making space, and it's just the first things in my head are removing my uh, stream vods from the drive and putting them on my external, where I usually just kind of dump them after a bit. Didn't have enough space from that. Went to go clear uh, some of the uh, the files that my uh, editing software leaves on the drive while it's working, like all the render oh, yes. files. Cleared the render yeah. files folder. Went back to the my file folder. Stared at the render files folder that was still at thirty gigabytes after I cleared it. And I'm just <laughs> sitting here like, why did that not clear? Look at my computer. No, it cleared. I I just freed up twenty gigs. So what the? Why the fuck am I staring at a thirty gigabyte uh, render file folder? Cue me realizing that that other render files folder isn't the current one, and it's the one for that was still there after I completely uh, upgraded my computer and reinstalled Windows. Oh, so I've just had thirty gigs of shit on my computer that didn't need to be there for the last uh, several months. Guys, I'm God. very upset. So I I'm just very, deleted very, the whole folder. I'm very upset. Seven days to die is past Fall Guys in my most played games. Oh, wow. That, that's impressive, die. actually. Well, on, on, on Steam. <laughs> anyway. I mean, I guess you were playing yeah, on Steam. Steam the whole time. Though. Yeah. Not like Fall me, Guys is not at 847. Like yeah. 847 hours. Seven days to die, 881 hours. You're not like me where I went from playing it on Steam for 350 hours to playing it on Epic for however the fuck long it's been I played it on there. I'm such a... It's like, I look at my most played games and it's like, Team Fortress 2, 1,000 hours. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure Fall Guys overtook my other most played game. Let's, let's look at that, shall we? How do I check my uh, my list of most played games? My tablet is covered in kitten paw prints. Uh oh, all games by play time. Yeah, you go into your activity under your account on Steam, and then go into all games, oh. and it sorts you sort it by play time. Okay, all right. So I have seven days to die at number one. 881 881 hours team fortress 2 at 855 hours fall guys at 847 hours gary's mod at 767 hours mm -hmm. vtube studio at 700 hours and then destiny at 600 hours yeah mine is uh and this isn't the proper number because i played it on epic for probably an extra hun couple hundred hours fall guys at 348.9 hours uh, number two is Skyrim, 300 hours. Uh, surprisingly not having overtaken Skyrim, Monster Hunter Rise <laughs> at 143 hours, though that does not count the amount of playtime on the Switch, so... The Switch, yeah. <laughs> so that very easily could be over that. Uh, Temtem, uh, with 107 hours. Uh... Hal World, I've now put in 101 hours into, so, you know. Uh, Borderlands 2 with 76 hours. Man, oh. okay. Like, you, uh, 76 hours, all right? Yeah. Let's go down. Where do I go to get, okay, 76 hours. That's 37 games that yeah. I have more hours than you in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. PUBG is at 75 hours. <laughs> Man, it, it, it's almost like I have to go to work for a good portion of the day. Fuck you and your work! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, yeah, I want to. I, I want to play Payday Two again. Yeah, yeah, I got what's that? Hell Worlds at five. The game I have the longest time on is DBD at six hundred and eighty-seven hours. Oh, yeah. uh, shocking! Nobody. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't played <laughs> since. March. Yeah. And yeah, even then it was long enough games? to log in. How many perfect games you got? What do you mean perfect games? In, in the achievements. God. Oh, probably uh, not. I have two. It's, Fall it's, Guys I, and Counter-Strike. I don't say, have any. I definitely have one. Beyond that, fuck, <laughs> final. 
Um, yeah, Borderlands 2 at 76.1 hours. Helldivers. The closest I have is Boyfriend Dungeon, which I have 36 out of 45 achievements. Helldivers is creeping up on the highest played with 70.5 hours. Uh, Borderlands 1 at 61.7. <laughs> Left for Dead at 50.7. Escape Simulator, 47.8 hours. Super Robot Wars 30 with 47.8 hours. Tied with Escape Simulator. Saints Row 3rd, Left 4 Dead 2, Master Duel, Volzerk, Dungeon Defenders. God, it's been a hot minute. I do not believe oh, yeah. I do not believe that I've dumped 30 hours into Dungeons Defenders. It does not feel like I played that very much at all. Wait, Supreme Commander. I should really install that game. Saints Row 4, Mass Effect 1, Tiny Tina's, Grand Theft Auto 5, Borderlands pre-sequel, which I don't believe that's only 18 hours considering I played that three separate fucking times. Just because you played it three separate times does not play you you played it three separate times no, longer than you're right. four hours. The po- but it's that moment of, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's that playtime Solo on my solo file. There's the playtime playing with Chuck and Fleets. There's the playtime playing with you on stream, and then just yeah. Apparently, I never got far in any of the above. You want want to know what the greatest uh, misjustice is ever? Greatest mm-hmm. injustice is I've only played two hours and seven minutes of Fall, Fallout New Vegas. Wow. At least you have time spent in that game. I own it, and I haven't played fuck all. The Same. Last time I, the last time I played it was in 2018. Yeah, top, look. <laughs> I got it when it was free, and then um, uh, my friend has made has played more of it than I have of my of my file because he, yeah. we were sharing our things. Well, let, let's let's look at libraries. perfect <laughs> at games that have achievement completion. Yeah, Fall Guys is the only perfect game for achievements. With, oh, hey, look, my second most played game on Steam is my second closest to that. <laughs> At Skyrim with 61 different fucking achievements in Skyrim. I would have God, more of Spiral Knights. I would have more of them if I had thought Maybe. about playing differently my two different playthroughs. But fucking Saints Row the Third with 62 out of 83. <laughs> Grendizer with 22 out of 30. Zerk and yeah, Ol- but Grandizer's achievements are all like chapter based. No, no, like not all of them. No? There are there are those, but there's a lot of them for like get to this tier of upgrades, find this many of these collectibles that are optional shit throughout the game. Find there's there's a lot of that. Most of what I have left to find in that is all like find all the collectibles. Ugh. Fucking Volzerk with only four achievements to go, but I'm pretty sure those are all in base. Oh, no, I think at least two of those are finding all the weapons and finding having all the monsters. So, fuck that. That's going to be a long time. Helldivers, so I've got 27 out of 38. Yeah, I almost have every achievement in Hall of the Helldivers except for the, like, yeah. really, really stupid hard ones. Yeah. Hell World, I only have half of the fucking achievements, but that's partially because I haven't really mo- done anything to advance like the actual shit. Yeah, Hell Divers, I have thirty one mm. of thirty eight. Yeah, I got and the, the last seven achievements are really fucking stupid hard. Yeah, uh, the the ones I don't have for Hell Divers are Hell Dive, uh. Complete, yeah, complete extreme, extreme difficulty, difficulty mission higher without dying. Yeah, with nobody dying, not even your teammates, not just you. Yeah, your I, teammates too. But just, just do a just do a solo. Yeah, at, at that, that point. point, I think you have to do. It. The only way to do it is the one way, thing I saw the one guy do. You find that one that's just the, the your main objective is blow up this fucking tower. Just yeah, show, just show up with the with drop an anti tank and fucking fire it from a distance. Blow the fucking thing up from a distance without doing anything, and then go extra. Oh, one of them is to have orbital barrages stratagems at the same time in the same place. Yeah. I should actually do that. The fact that we haven't done that yet is surprising, but I guess we didn't time it properly. 
complete a full extreme difficulty blitz mission and extract it under six minutes. God. I mean, that's not technically all that hard to do. All we have to do is go in with lasers and uh, la with lasers and, uh, and lasers and fucking and, 50, and rail guns, kg bombs, and just blow yeah, everything and they just and then just leave and without fucking around. Yeah, basically. And 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 have someone waiting at the extraction. Yeah. Right away, like have everyone split up. Of one okay. guy go to the extraction as soon as you get the mission completed, you extract. Done. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I still don't have kill it with fire. Man, the number of th we fucking did that whole mission, that whole mi that whole mission for the fucking awards, and still didn't do that. Fuck. Really? Apparently, I didn't specifically kill a hundred bugs myself in that mission. Oh. I guess I, we did it as a group, but. Yeah. Anyway, what do you want to play? Uh, I mean, obvious answer is Hell Divers, but uh, I, don't, I know oh, you were. Oh. I know you were kind of Hell Divers out on Thursday when we were talking about it. I'm still a little bit like, uh Yeah, yeah, I understand that. It's just because it's the same gameplay loop, you know. It is. Yeah. I get it. It it's at the end of the day, as much as shit changes in between, it's it's the same gameplay loop. Just drop in, do the thing, leave. Just war. War never changes. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly it. Uh I mean I bought a new game the other day. That that's just probably What did you me. buy? Uh the thing that Armorhide posted in my Discord. Oh, uh, the the mech thing. The yeah, me, the Megaton mecha Musashi. Yeah. 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 I I bought that. And and okay, so you want to know the fun thing? I I saw it in the trailer before I even looked at everything else. But like in the trailer, it like I it ends with like a split second shot of Mazinger Z in it, and I was like, okay, this is getting getting bought immediately just for that. Look at it. Oh, hey, Combatler V, Mazinger Z, and Getter Robo are all playable in this game. And you can utilize their parts to make it your own custom mech for it. Yes, please. Oh. Let me let me play this game. And then five minutes into looking at it on Steam, there's a fucking $10 DLC to have fucking Corona from Hololive be your fucking uh, guiding what? AI. Yeah. Yeah, I immediate purchase. <laughs> what is this game called? <laughs> uh, Megaton Musashi. <laughs> it you you have multiple options for having your navigator like changed up from the default. Oh my god! One of them's Corona, and the other one's freaking Shibanyan from uh freaking Yokai Watch. That that is the <laughs> best thing. In the entire world. This is yeah. the best thing ever. I, I saw it. I have to watch you play this game now. Well, yeah. I was just like, yeah, this is probably my game on Thursday at this point if they don't announce another fucking seven star raid, which usually they'd have done that by now. So, and I don't yeah, see they would, it. Yeah, they usually. That usually gets announced like nine o'clock on a Sunday. I haven't seen oh anything yet. So. Yeah, so I'm going to be playing that on stream probably on. Uh, Probably on Thursday. Corona. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, no, fun times, fun times. Uh anyways. That that's probably my Thursday game. Uh anyways. I mean, aside from Hell Divers and Remnant for multiplayer things, there's uh this Yu-Gi-Oh! is what I got installed. I mean, I guess I still have uh I still have Gunfire Reborn installed from Thursday. Escape Simulator. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. You do that now and then do something else tomorrow. Yeah. Rather easily. Does Megaton Musashi co-op? I could have sworn I saw it somewhere. Uh, if it's not co-op, I if it's not, I'm not gonna buy it if it isn't co-op. Yeah. Just let me, let me see store page. Uh. Hack really uh, and slash. Online co-op. It says online. It says it has online. Co I see it's got PVP as well, but 
Yeah, it's online PvP, yeah. Is it just PvP or is it actually co-op? Oh, uh, that is the question. Because uh... it's like, is it is it actually co-op or is it like co-op in the same sense that uh, we had co-op in the uh, oh my in God. Monster Hunter Stories 2? <laughs> Fuck that game, dude. That game ruined my life. Uh, it's just, I okay. sat, like, yeah, oh, yeah, online PvP Hi, and online co-op, apparently. I'm, I'm doing something. Cross-platform so, multiplayer. Can I help you? It's apparently a thing. Yes, I'm, no, this, no you're on my tablet. Uh, excuse me. Alright, so how does the co-op operation work? So I'm trying to draw sexy things. alongside thing. your friends and defeat powerful enemies. Just this, it has seamless co-op. Yeah, it says that, but it's like, yeah, join up with your friends and uh, defeat powerful uh, enemies. That sounds like it's raid boss only. <laughs> is what that yeah. reads like to me. So, I, I guess I'll find out when I play it on Thursday. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't buy it until, like... Yeah, you're whatever anyway at the moment, but... Yeah. So. I, just, I swear to God, I just look at the fucking images of... Yeah, yeah, Combatler V and in Volt SV and Grit and get a Robo and Mazinger Z. I'm like, yeah, okay. I you had me at Mazinger and then all the other shit was in there. I can't wait to have my PC so I can draw again because this tablet's just I need to, I can't bring myself. <clears> I to need draw. to actually like pull out my drawing tablet and fucking practice with it. I've got, I got, for Christmas, uh, a good friend of mine got me a Picasso tablet. And they're, like they're nice. It's like an actual tablet as opposed to, like, having to hook up to my computer. Yeah. With my, with my beautiful baby that I can't use right now because, I mean, I could technically hook it up to my laptop, but it's a hassle. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I bought a cheap drawing tablet, and I can hook it up to my computer real and easy. I just, I'm not great at drawing, so I, I haven't used it very much. Is it, um, what, uh, does it have a screen, or? No. It is, it, it, it's like, it's really cheap Those take... Tablet. I will tell you right now, those have the worst learning curve to I them. I bet. It, it's weird. As somebody who started yeah. on one. It's weird to not be looking at the thing you're drawing on and have to be staring at the yeah. screen above it to know what you're doing. Mm. It definitely feels weird when I do it, but I'm not really an artist, so I'm just like, yeah, okay. having, not spending money on this is the current purpose. I they still have. have new they have my new versus uh, maps. Anyways, Game Simulator has new versus maps. Anyways, everybody, uh, I'm going to uh, be right back. I'm going to get everything kind of switched around over to Escape Simulator so I can play with Overkill. And yeah, I will be right back. <laughs>
and we're back. Got a skate gonna do your simulator. You know, you know what would be really cool? Here. If my friend Cho Raven was online on Steam. Yeah? Oh. What? There you are. There you go. I know you're hiding so you because you're playing fucking Pal World. I mean... You were up until six in the morning responding to me on TikTok. Don't even. <laughs> Don't yeah. at me. Yeah, that, yeah, okay. Admittedly, that's what happened Friday night. Yeah. But also, <laughs> also immediately after that, I left Steam on for the rest of the next day to kind of finish downloading Remnant 2, uh, Megaton Musashi, the update for this game. Yeah. So I kind of like, and I'm gonna leave this on all night and set myself to invisible so nobody else thinks I'm on doing shit. All right, hello YouTube, welcome to Escape Simulator. We're doing some uh, some versus maps. Some trending versus maps have come out. Ooh. This map is called A Night to... in Tokyo. I'm going to watch your stream, but I think I'm going to hop out. Okay. That's understandable. And vegetate, and I will have talk good... to you guys later. Have a good, good night, Kai. Oh. I'm going to hop out, and I'm going to uh, germinate. You're going to go germinate? I thought you were going to go Tarkov. No, I actually uninstalled Tarkov. Oh, did you really? Wow. Yes. The first step. The first step. <laughs> I I too am going to hop out of the voice. All right. All right. Later, dragon. Lo love you guys. Have a good night. Good night. Just the size of your thing in the corner now that everybody else is left. I am huge. Yeah. I am big. It's the downside to having it set to group instead of just having the individual things on here. See, this is why I don't do that. I know, but the why... the reason I, I set it for group is so I don't have to actively go and change this to, and add a no, layer. No, you can change forever. the vertical. I you know. You can change the vertical and horizontal manually. I can, but like that's why I set, have the group thing for the, for Discord set up instead of individuals. No, I, I have, have my group. I have my group thing set up, for the, but like no matter what, how many people are in, chat it doesn't grow anymore it doesn't get any bigger or smaller you can adjust oh, okay. that i should do that and then there were two yep yep how that works the dynamic duo of me and Raven. Hey, hey. Also, anyone watching, if you're not following me, if you're not subbed to me on YouTube, please do. I've been like two subscribers away from 300 for like the last king month <laughs> Can you, yes y'all just do me a favor and One, uh pop that two. over 300 please <laughs> streamer mode i don't want to do streamer mode streamer mode off it's probably all right i was about to say how uh how uh copyright music is it in there right now I don't hear any music. I'm going to turn streamer mode on just in case. I want to go into the jazz bar. Is it let me in the jazz bar? It's like literally the last two times we've played this game. I haven't been able <laughs> to monetize the fucking pod because of shit in it. Oh, hey, Raven. Hey, how you doing? Love the subtitles. Yeah. Flower, bird, and coffee shop. Plant, play, 
its entrance. Dark flower. There's a flower by the entrance. I mean, I see bar oh. flower. Found it. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, do I have to learn Japanese? I don't know Japanese! I'm right, help! Oh, look, it's <laughs> Pikachu. Where? TVU. Oh. There. It's just the gif of Pikachu waving at us. Cool. Hi, Pikachu. Alright. Well, it's all in yen. Uh... One caramel macchiato, one espresso caramel whiskey. Oh, you're in my way. Oh, no, let me zoom. There we go. Okay. Did I get that wrong? Four hundred. Hey, Raven, I'll give you a clue. Uh huh. The last number is a zero. Yeah, no, I'm aware of that. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, I, I swear to God, I've 
figured this out. There's like it's not. There's kanji on the wall, and I don't know what that's for. And it's, I don't think I'll ever be able to understand it though. What? There's like these kanji, like piece oh. of paper on the wall. Oh, uh, that's not kanji. Is it not kanji? That's hiragana. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Question is, what do I do with this key? Where did you go? Hmm? Oh, you're back here. Oh, that's why I couldn't find you. I was looking at something. Oh, is that where the key goes? Yeah, got it. There you go. Yep. Took me a minute, but... Yep. Do I have to... Ro do I have to tell you that I brute forced it? <laughs> I mean, I figured out what the actual solution was, so... I knew, I, I knew it was 700 and something. So well, okay, I so reali it. realistically, the answer was 760, and I was wondering why that didn't work until I noticed the... Choose from our menu for a negative 20 yen discount. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, that probably matters. And I minus 20 from it. And it was 740. That's funny. And I'm just like, oh, I... no shit. That's why. Okay. Where the fuck is the goddamn sun? Uh, it's, there isn't one because it's nighttime outside. Cool. Uh -huh. There's some... It's supposed to be a sun. Right? You know, I'm more immediately looking for the... Oh, oh I think I know. Okay. Wait, you already know the code for this? No, I just have... I, I noticed what I got out of that box with that the key was for, and I noticed what's in this thing, and now I'm suddenly like, wait. Oh. Do you know where they go? 
No, I think actually you need to unlock this box and then get that. No, come over here. I mean, the solution to that box gets you the last pieces you need. Yeah, to solve the, the, other the pieces are on the wall over here. Yeah, which means the. To... Yeah, but I, I repeat, there are two more pieces of it inside that box. Wait, is this the sun? No, that's, a, that's definitely just not a painting big... of the sun. That's definitely a big person, and not the sun. Huh. Key to wisdom. Hey, wait a second. Oh my god. That is so mean. That is so incredibly mean. Realize what this is now. Okay. the way to do this but Worst part about doing a doing a versus level is as much as I want to talk about the thing I'm solving, <laughs> I fucking can't <laughs> because then I'm giving you the answer. Uh, same, honestly. <laughs> yeah, right. As much as I want to be a good streamer about this and talk about the puzzles I am solving. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Fuck indeed.
that you solving that other puzzle over there in the yeah the box? No. Well, you didn't solve the thing with the shapes. No, I solved a different. I solved this puzzle here. Oh, that's the one I'm working on right now. Uh, the the one I got that got me up to three was the one with the two shapes in the glass box. How did you manage this one? There's a combination that is really fucking obvious if you realize. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I see it. <laughs> it's It just took some identifying is all. What the fuck? It's on the ceiling? Oh, it's the fucking plants. Oh my god. All right. Wow. Wow, this is actually really cool. There we go. That was so smart. And now I'm just trying to figure out this one. And I uh, tell you right now, that is not all the pieces for that, because I have tried. No, there's more. Yeah, there's definitely more that you gotta solve the other puzzles to get at. Just trying to... This one's not what I thought it was, apparently. Uh, I'll give you a clue for that one because that one took me a while. Yeah. Uh, flip the pillows over. Oh. Oh. This opened something. That oh, that that mission that you're on right now opened something that I cannot find. And. It's actually very important that I get it, and I don't know where it opened. Which thing? Which which one? Which puzzle? The the the, the puzzle you are currently doing. Oh, the it, puzzle. something opened after you did it. Okay. Yeah, and I don't know what did. I don't know where or what. Oh, uh, I see.
Yeah, I'm officially lost. I have no idea what that thing opened or what what opened at all. It was ahead of you, and then the game was like, fuck you. Yeah. I mean, you're still ahead of me, technically, but I'm just... Oh, I figured it out. It moved. It moved something. Oh, thank God I found it. Open See what I mean? I yeah, couldn't figure it out either. It, it's not immediately obvious what that sound of something opening was. All right. Well, seeing you struggle, it's driving me nuts. Since you literally just figured it out yourself. It's over here. Nice. Oh, the paint. Oh, fucking painted and shifted. Okay. So confused because this is this layout's like upside down.
Capri's facing out the window. Also, a really straightforward puzzle. Don't overthink it. I'm trying to get them to face the windows. Are they not supposed to face the windows? No. No, they're not. What? It, it take a really close look at the uh, at where the numbers are situated on that diagram. That that that's that's the orientation. All right. Okay. 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 I think I understand this now. Yeah, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Raymond's absolutely gonna beat me because I have no idea how to deal with these fucking sunflowers. I, um, to be absolutely fair, I have absolutely no idea what I just got out of doing that. So I, I'm gonna be paused for the next moment trying to figure it the fuck out. There it is. Oh, oh, okay. They have to be facing each other? Okay, since you're that far behind on it, uh, the sunflower, the numbered, the sunflowers with the numbers on their vases have to be pointed at the spot on the room where they appear in the diagram. So they I have tried to that. I guess I fucked it up somehow. Okay, uh, the one you probably fucked up is probably number three that has to literally look directly at the wall behind it and not in the general direction that's the one that took oh. me a minute
god, once you fucking complete that. The, the next the next puzzle after that, Sunflowers, takes a minute to figure out your fucking orientation, but once you've figured it out, oh my god, it the rest of it just kind of goes. And then you hit this puzzle, and I go, what the fuck do I even make of that? That So 
I I have I literally did what you told me to do and it still won't complete it. I think I'm bugged. I think I'm bugged. I think I am. I doubt that. Question. This one over here. Yeah. Is it literally just facing straight back into the wall? It's facing towards the way that you're facing it. I'm not facing it on mine at all. It's facing. I'm watching your me. stream. It, it is faced towards me currently. That is not where it should be. It should be pointed at the wall. Really? Yep. The wall behind it. That's not the where a window is. That's not where it is. The thing show it's not. They're not supposed to point towards the window. They're supposed to point towards the sun icon with their number on it. Yeah, but that's two. Is this three? Oh, that's three. Oh, I Which did is, this backwards. The icon is immediately in the wall right there behind No, me. I did it backwards. Yeah. Maybe not sure if I've got this fucking thing right now anymore. There you go. Check the TV. Oh. Oh, it's this thing again. Do I flip them back over again? No. Yes? No. Uh, that's why I just keep confusing myself because I want to think it's the other way around. Just the way that it thinks it is. Oh, well, that's not even the end of it. Okay. Oh, yay.
ようやくになってこの30年間すっかり実に美しい。I fucked this whole puzzle up now. Must have. Pillows back? Yes. Oh. It's a second one, but it's from a different perspective. I did. I thought I had to keep the old ones where they were. Okay. That makes more sense. That makes way more sense. Is that Pikachu legal? Legit? Uh, yeah. 100% legit Pikachu. And did D&D &D end early? Yes.
the third location. Excellent. Damn it. up again those two there we go well, that did something That open. Is there a puzzle that I'm missing or do I have or am I missing a puzzle piece somewhere? Missing a puzzle piece. Oh, am I'm gonna, I? I'm gonna say, aside from the obvious of those pieces, like you're rather specifically mix missing another uh angle, like just a 90 degree angle, right? Yeah. So I'll I'll tell you right now. Uh go all the way back into that corner where you had that key lockbox at the beginning, where you look down at the bottom of that shelf. Where you see a basket full of fruit and note that one of those baskets is entirely interactable oh my god fuck this game it dude. is buried under all the fruit in there that was what i wow. found that i found that almost immediately and then was sitting on it the whole time all right all right, I'm gonna hide. Translate for me. <laughs> I 
Hold on, he says. <laughs> yeah, let's see if he can do it. Well, anyway, uh, uh. game, let me stand up, please. I'm surely missing some sort of contacts here. Oh, wait. Yes, I am. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, is the puzzle like the ones that are lit up brighter? I'll tell you right now, it's the darker ones, not the lighter ones. Several different readings? Yeah, I know. I translated it myself as well. How is that 11? Twelve. What the fuck? I'm just gonna tell you right now. Think digital clock and think single digits. Oh, I get it now. Oh my god. 
god. How am I gonna do that? I don't have the brain power for this. I need like a fucking like notepad. I don't have the ADHD brain for this. It's just an equal sign. The dark ones, not the uh, lit up ones, remember? Right. Three. Entirely too long to fucking figure that part out. I need like a piece of paper or something. They should probably have that. Yeah, my I don't get my notepad till Tuesday. Just prime. Paintings. Oh, that's probably all for the over there. All right, everybody, I'm going to give Overkill a chance to catch up by taking a quick washroom break. I will be right back yeah, in a moment.
we're back. I think I may have fucked up the first number. No, it's definitely three. Three. That's definitely a nine. It's definitely a five. Should be able to guess the last number. Uh, unless, of course, you've got the you've got one of them wrong in the first place. There we go. I did get it right. Oh, all right. Favorite movie today. I think I remember where it was. theater now mm -hmm. have fun right. with that one oh what the fuck oh okay The fuck way these are not in alphabetical oh they're not okay i think this is where the streamer mode is supposed to be because this is legitimately just a movie that i'm yes. watching now yes
that one goes last. Oh no, that's the, definitely the wrong way. Pretty sure it goes like this. Maybe, maybe that's the first one. this way. Oh, wait, maybe it starts with how beautiful. I really am lost now. Oh, wait. Yeah, how truly beautiful in the last 30 years. Okay. I found the stupid thing. I had it right. Goes to the sunset. Oh no, see now it's backwards.
Yeah. Okay. So now this is 30 years. So this needs to go here. Take it. Well, now it's just backwards again. Not it either. God damn it. Now I fucked it all up. I don't know what's what anymore. Because I fucking scrambled it by mistake. Pay attention That's to the which last scene one. is the silence. It's this one. I know I know that now. Except I'll tell you right now, the first two the two scenes in the middle are really easily switched up by accident. I did it a couple times before I realized. How truly beautiful. In the last 30 years, I've all forgotten that. about the sunset. Yes, I have the pause already in place. If yeah, there's two clips with a pause in it, that have it's to like line one. up. Nope. If you uh, split them apart a little bit, because you can use that last slot and just have a gap in the middle and see what, where it stops and where it starts. Oh my god. Two of them have a pause in it that have to be lined up so fireworks oh, there they are. You finished first place. Oh, I lost. Yep. Eh. It, honestly, I think it was good, but yeah, I, you also got stuck in a bunch of the puzzles, like, kind of consistently. Yeah. I feel like that one was very much so more my type of puzzles than it was your type of puzzles. Oh, definitely. There, as we've discovered multiple times over in the past with this game, there are certain types of puzzles you excel at and certain types I excel at that we both struggle with the opposite. So, why we work so well together in this game. Alright, one more. Blitz, jazz, and murder. Yeah, I don't know what it is. This is a regular... This is a regular one, not okay, not, not, a, not a versus. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so maybe it won't take us like an hour and forty minutes to try and finish it. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Don't look. See. Vaguely, vaguely grape flavored water. Are you drinking out of a water bottle that had Kool Aid in it? No. I'm drinking out of a water bottle that I tried to put the Kool Aid uh, flavoring thing into, only to realize that I, I had like maybe one tiny little squirt of it left in the fucking bottle. Oh. This marble has a one on it. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Did you pick, by any chance, pick up the wool balls? Well, that's two out of four. 
the pool balls are the solution to this code over here, I guarantee it. Should be a red one. <clears throat> These drinks are all listed as key items. Yeah. The so, drinks list is on the table. Oh, uh, yeah. Yamaha King, Mario Money Sacks, Phaser Mix Strings, Palm Beats, Jackson. Put suspect poster here. Oh, body inspection. Blue eye, injured knee. We know what table's what though. Figure out pool code is literally what it says the first thing, so there should be Yeah, I know the other three, I can just fucking figure it out. I mean, yeah, that's that's yeah, you can just uh, you can why am I why it. am I why am I fucking looking for this thing? I literally know the other three numbers. But overkill this. <laughs> Got to be painting flames, phaser mix strings. Okay. Had a nice chat with Jax while we were playing pool. However, he started getting all romantic at one point and talked about his new girlfriend. Guess what? Turned out his new flame is my ex. That's the moment I gave him a good blow to the eye. I was really mad. Wow. Give him a good blow, you say, huh? Right. Now I got a phaser mix strings painting. Oh, oh that's where the Enter the was. manager's room. Add up the price of this two favorite drinks. He really let, let the visitors know love for Tom Beats and Mario Money Sack sat in the same colored chair. Oh Bay my god. Phaser makes strings is the guitar player, apparently. Oh, okay. Electric rock and roller. It's all about the color green. Oh, okay, so this guy. Is drummer. Chair. Honorary wind instrumentalist. Saxophone. Drummer. Figure out the yeah. dart code? The phaser was the guitar player, so the electric rock and roll, I think, would be the one. Oh. Sixteen. Sixteen times two. Twenty. Thirty. Thirty-two? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Plus eighteen. Got it. He beats. He beats the world's best drummer. There we go. Yeah, what's the note say? Oh, uh, welcome to you. I welcome you to Jax, inviting him to round the darts. We had a nice time, at least to the guy threw one of the darts into my eye. I might have responded a bit emotionally, but I returned the favor and threw a dart straight at his knee. Reconstruct this who guy. sat where and who had which drink during the break. Yeah. I have the drink list. Okay, uh, well, I have the name tags and the drinks. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Jack's O phone okay. is all about the color green. So, so give him the green, the green chair. chair. Yeah. Here's the Jack's phone. Oh, here we go. 
and Jaxophone and Mixed Strings both like fruity drinks. Oh, uh, I got Pina Colada, Green Line Cocktail, Red Wine, Water, and West Whiskey, so... Oh, he's all about the, the color green, green, though, so I'm gonna yeah. go with that one. Alright, and just because they specified the other guy's thing doesn't mean he was in the blue chair next to him, but... Uh, Tom Beeks and Mario Money Sack sat in the same color chair. Yeah, so we have so... two red chairs, and that's the only same chairs. So, okay, those are... It, does it say Tom one Beats? of them likes chips? Uh... No, but Tom Beeks likes the same drink as the same color as his chair. I got red wine, so... There's two red chairs to choose from. Yeah, one I know. One of them's got a bag of chips in it, so... Yeah, none of them says anything about chips. Okay. Or salty snacks, or... No. Tom Beaks and Mario Money Sack set in the same color chair. Jaxo Phone is all about the color green. Jaxo Phone and Mixed Strings both like fruity drinks. The two saxophonists sat next sat at the same table. Alright, so who were the two saxophonists? I know Strings is the guitarist and Beats is the drummer. So we have Must two be the other two guys. Oh, the two saxophones. It's had the two saxophone players, right? Yeah. The two saxophone so players. Jaxophone and Yamaha King. Okay. Yep, that. So we so already know we already know Jaxophone here. So then it's these two guys. Then Yamaha King set in the blue chair. Yeah. And he, Yamaha King, likes horses. Oh, war horse whiskey. Okay. Probably that. Okay, so we know um, those two guys both sat in the red chairs. Oh, money sacks requires a break for himself. It cannot have any alcohol, so he needs. To, he need, but this is this is where money sacks is, and he drinks water. Okay. Yeah. Which means the other guy who sat in the red chair is was it Tom Beats? Tom Beats, yeah, and he has the same colored chair and drink. drank. So here's red wine. Yeah, and he drank Which, the I same guess, color. I guess makes this phaser make strings, and he wants a pina colada. The other thing. There we go. Bar, oh, that's another Yamaha King painting. All right. Oh, and there's, there's a... There's a note on the ground. What's it say? Tax is always it looked up to me. I told him that playing the Birdland was something special. Then the brat responded by that Birdland was stepping stone for him, and he got an offer to play at the lead saxophonist of the newest Hollywood musical. I couldn't hardly listen to him rave. I should, I should be the one to claim the spotlight. Uh, figure out the code to the manager's office. Oh, right. Uh, I think honorary wind instrument. <laughs> Enter the manager's room, add up the price of his two favorite snacks. He really needs to let the visitors know of his love for them. Well, one of them has to be chips. I'm gonna guess chips. Yeah. Guessing is chips. An educated guess. Oh, here we go. Uh... So if he's the guy with the chips in the chair, then that's obviously the manager is uh, Money Sacks, right? Yeah, it must be, right? Yeah, so... Obviously, he had chips. He needs to let everyone know his love for it. But chips, look, chips, water, or no? We see any evidence of popcorn, nachos, onion rings, fries, or pretzels? There's a poster of pretzels in the corner. 
So the oh, yeah, there code is. should be 480 plus 890. So it should be 1370. 480 plus 890? 1370 should be the code. Yep, sure is. Oh my god. I found money. Box glove digitals. Note. Told oh. Jackson to my office on the day of the crime. We had well. an argument regarding his salary for the show. He was quite angry because my offers did not appear sufficient to him. I mean, five bucks an hour. Others had to pay me ten when they wanted to start out. Yeah. Man was charging. He's a cheap piece of shit. Yeah, he is. The manager of the year. Hey, look, a key. Got a key. Good work, detective. You made it this far. Now take the key and inspect the suspect's locker rooms next to the manager's office. Then you find some hints that allow you. Okay. All right, let's go. Killed Jack's old phone. I mean, we've seen the claims. Oh, man, he really likes pretzels and chips. Yep. Oh, my God. He really likes them. Money bags. I'm gonna guess money is the issue because he has a ton of money. Well, we have the uh, a couple of different things. On who killed Jack's phone specifically? Uh, wait. One of these guys had. So he had a black eye and a busted knee. Is what. You picked up all the fucking paper I put yeah, down? God damn I'm, it, Raven. I'm reading them. <sighs> Welcomed Jax by inviting him to a round of darts. We had a nice time, at least until the guy threw one of the darts right into my eye. I might have responded a bit emotionally, but I returned the favor and threw a dart straight in his knee. Yeah, so he's so the one that... We know for sure. Guy. Tom Beats, according to his report, tossed a dart at Jax's knee. Yeah. Tom Beats is the one that's dead. No, no, the other guy oh, is Jaxophone dead. is dead. Yeah, Jaxophone is dead. Yeah, Jax always looked up to me. I told him that playing at Birdland was something real special. Then the brat responded that Birdland was just a stepping stone for him, and then he got an offer to play as the lead saxophonist in a new Hollywood musical. I could hardly listen to him rave. I should be the one to claim the spotlight. Well, Yamaha King definitely had motive. Jealousy. Yeah. Jealousy? Yeah, Yamaha King, jealousy, but he doesn't say what he did to him. Mazer McStrings. I had a nice chat with Jax while we were playing pool. However, he started getting romantic at one point, talking about his new girlfriend. Guess what? Turned out his new flame. His new girl is my ex. That's the moment I gave him a good blow to the eye. Yeah. So, Phaser... Put, a, put the pool cue in his eye. No, uh, punched him, I think. No. Well, maybe something like that. But can you see that again? Good blow to the eye, yeah. Yeah, it just sounds like he punched him. And Mario and Money Stacks called Jax into his office on the day of the crime. Had an argument regarding his salary for the show. He was angry because my offers did not appear sufficient. Don't think that doesn't sound, sound like money of... stacks had a reason to kill him per se, but the other three all kind of did. I feel like Yamaha King's got the best. Uh... Yamaha King's the one who likes horses, right? Yeah. Why is there a random note here that says Foxglove? Foxglove is a to toxic species of flowering plant that lead to severe heart failure within hours of ingestion. Uh, that flower is in Yamaha King's locker. That's how we did it. Yeah, he did it with poison. Jealousy, but he killed him with poison. Is 
Jealousy? Yeah. It's, uh, you wanted to be the oh, one. Yep, there yeah. we go. Done. Good job. We're smart. A lot of straightforward in there. <laughs> We're smart. We're yeah. smart people. That one was a little straightforward. Compared to the last one. <laughs> one more? Uh, yeah, it's sure. almost 1 a.m. Yeah, That's sure. why I say it. All right, Ghost Castle Escape. Let's do a scary one. Spoopy time. Spoopy. We're going to get the spoops. It's no one's going to watch my you. No one's going to watch this YouTube video. Yeah, I know. It's no one's going to watch this. Later. Nobody's watching. No, it's uh. not even that. It's the first hour of it. It's just me fucking the puzzle up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Spoopy ghosts. We're gonna spoops. Oh, spoopy. Player dice. I will dice. What if I go this way? No. Maybe, maybe I need to. Aha. Aha! Put them on the space and then roll the dice. Cool. You really have to roll the dice? Oh my god. Put it on the first one. I think both of them needed to be on a different one of the glowing feet, one of the glowing steps. It's a little pain in the ass. It's a two-digit code for this lockbox. Two-digit code, you say? Mm hmm. Well, oh, have fun. And a three-digit code for this mailbox. Got it. <laughs> Excellent. That's a, a key of something. The key. I don't know where it goes. It was like did this way out of order. Yeah, one hundred percent. There's also you were, you were supposed to do that. And what if we bring him over to the door? Good question. I don't know. A three-digit code I definitely cannot do. Not without having some idea of what the fuck it means. Oh, the code was six and four, which was the two numbers on the dice. Uh, oh, that would have done it, yeah. So that's that's simple. I could cheese it. Oh no, never mind. Never mind. I'm now stuck outside the bounds. Same. Same. Oh, lovely. Oh, wait, I figured it out. You can walk. You can walk this way. Walk this way through here. No? Oh, 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 there, there you goes. go. Hey, don't do that. <laughs> Oh, it's a three. It's a three letter code. 
F? Oh, what are those gray letters that are oh, red? Oh, E-N-T, 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 E-N-T. E... N... Yeah. What's in there? Star decoration. Star. Well, I'll put it up and uh, see if it goes in. Oh, it goes on the it goes on the shield. Probably. Yeah. Now can we leave? Yes. Three-digit code here. Doesn't seem to have to wait to solve it. Oh. Well, next one. Oh. Oh wait. Next on that one. Oh, then that one. How many code? How many digit codes is it? Three. Okay, so uh, three, six, eight, oh, nine. Oh, it's a lot of X's. Not any of those. I. But literally, that was a, there's a lot more than just that many, that many of them. Wait, there's oh, this oh, thing here. Uh, yeah, you gotta move them. Oh, okay. Them, probably. Uh, I don't even know which is which though. How do we know which character is who? Or which space is which? Oh, I got oh. something. Yep, there's things here. Moved. Oh. oh, okay. Now it tells which. Yeah. Okay. Which color goes to which thing? Which? Oh, no, it's just stuck there. Assuming he's red. Goes to Of that. that. They're on the thing that should be according to the book. That's how I opened the, uh... Door. Oh, I have a key, right? What do I do with the key? Oh, because... Okay. That, that was which order. The blue foot and then all the white ones that had the X's. That's what that was. Oh. Oh, did I... Did I just accidentally a puzzle? You did. It's because oh. it was it. That's why there were X's underneath the feet. The ones with the X's were the ones you had to pull out, and so you brute forced it. I I was just hitting buttons. You you <laughs> accidentally a puzzle. I can't believe I accidentally a puzzle. Now I gotta figure out what the to do. <laughs> I feel like this is the next thing, and it is these things, but I don't know why it's that wasn't the solution. 
So they're uh, all on the play spot that thing says they should be in. Try the opposite spot because they're moving to that location. Well, it's not 101. All right, let's keep going. Eventually get it. Hey, Google, what are the odds of for brute forcing a three digit code? And 40 different combinations. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Only gonna be. By the time I get this, Raven will get the code. But if. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fucking hilarious if I fucking got it? Right? Forcing, brute forcing. Got two hundred and forty. Let's go. I'm getting there. Just like, I'll just let him do this. Yes, there was. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, so I was wondering, while you were fiddling with that puzzle box, 
why there was a key on the underside of it that I grabbed. Oh my god, Raven. So, um, the, the puzzle glitched, and the contents of the box were floating underneath the box. The That's fuck did so you go? fucking funny. Where'd you go? I went to the other, to the other room. Back to the, oh. Well, I have a key, a blue key. And I no have a red key. What, and no clue what it's for, so probably Same. something in the next room. We can we get to the next get room, to the sure. Next room, sure. Which is probably this solution to this thing, which. <laughs> Raven, I can't believe I did all of that work. You just stole the key from me. It, it just was already there. I already had it. <laughs> like before you even solved the puzzle, I took the thing out of it, apparently. Huh. I don't know. Wait, you click on the book underneath it? Yeah, and it just does the same thing. Oh. All right, well, explain to me what you think the thing is. So the obvious answer is the spin, the spin, the color. It's by the color of their shirts, and the spin oh, okay. point, and the spin points directly what X they should be in on their side of the thing. But um, that didn't work. And then I've tried sticking them on their spot of origin according to where the back end of the arrow is, and that didn't work. And I've tried sticking them halfway in between the two squares that they're headed to from and to and that hasn't worked so i'm huh. at a complete fucking loss for what the fuck this means well one of these guys needs to be in first place right so it is still a board game after all mm -hmm. well the point <clears throat> was like if you go by the set of the thing it should be this this should be the fucking thing Huh. Weird. Well, it's broken. I guess we're not playing this one. You can't put the key in the door. Then there's... No, there's also this thing. What thing? All right. Can you put your key in it? Nope. It it's there's not even a keyhole. There's not even like a puzzle visible on it. It's not clickable. Yeah. I feel like this thing is supposed to pop open somehow in this room, and I feel like it has to be the when you solve this fucking table, but I don't know why. What's that a thing? Why can you guys be halfway between things but you can't?
no, no, a, like a skull to foot. What does that even mean? From, I mean, well, you're walking from the skull space to the foot space, right? Yeah. That's he's half the blue guy's halfway between that right now. really put him anywhere. Yeah, except for the red guy. He snaps to locations. Ah, uh, he does, doesn't he? Ow. Might have missed something. Oh? Out here, the kid I've been assuming is the red one is marked as the green player. Oh. Ye kid in the yellow shirt is still yellow, but that's the only reference I got. Yeah, I'll put him on the dice. Yeah, he's marked as the green player, which means dice, but then what the fuck? Is the yellow one? So what the fuck would she would she just be? Hang on. Red maybe because of the skirt. Still doesn't solve the puzzle. Yeah, I have no fucking clue though. No other like player markers or anything. Yeah, it's hard to tell. It's just because there's only two players. Maybe. Sorry, I'm brute forcing. Leave me alone. Yeah. Nope. Okay, well, it's definitely not that.
fuck is the red player? Who the fuck is that? Okay, well, I guess I could just put you here and then remove you down. I uh, okay. I think we've done something here. Oh. Why is that? Apparently, the books that you did at, right at the beginning were supposed to open the trunk to the side of the entrance. Oh. They didn't. Huh. Just reset these books again. That door, I think, that drawer, I think, opened for a different reason. Two yellow ribbons. What do we do with the ribbons now? It's a question. Do we put the ribbons on the kids? Place them on the two curtains at the room's exit. Oh. Oh. Weird. You're weird. Okay, now we can. Oh, the other two players are here. Ooh. So that other puzzle was nothing then. Yeah, apparently. Cool game. All right, I got a bunch of standees. Got a bunch of standees. I don't know what there's they're for. Uh, there's a uh, numerical code here. Puzzle. There's a code here that's marked in blue, red, green, yellow. We have blue, red, green, yellow on the field. Or not yellow, though. We have green, though. Blue, red, and green. Oh. Chinese checkers here. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what they're actually called it, other than that. So I'm sorry if that's offensive. <laughs> Well, we Raven, know. you have fun. Uh, I'm gonna go brute force this lock. Uh. Right. Now we know that. Oh. Yeah, dragon. Now we know the kid in the blue shirt is the red player. So that's the thing. Let me know when you need those standees, because I have them in my inventory. Right. Excuse me. I'm in a bit of a recording yeah, pass, mood, so pass I... Pass those over right now. I have, like, right. a couple of options I can think of. Oh, that. that's the key. Oh, well, whatever. You can have it. Both keys. This is going to take this code over to the guy who labeled a hero. Something changed. I did something. I'm not entirely certain what yet, but...
wonderful if I knew what the fuck was making that noise every time I did that. Basically, I'm doing something, right? no longer interact with them, so that's definitely where the stands eat went. Okay. Very yellow, let's see, yellow, green, yellow, red. Fucking hell. I know. So that. What is that a reference to? Got it. Oh, cool. I just had a thing unlock, found a thing involving feet in the other room, and I'm not 100% sure what the fuck that references. So, uh, you might have missed the standees. Oh. All go here on their respective colors. And now knowing all of their colors because of the standees, I went back into the last room and finished that puzzle. Oh, cool. Which pulled down a bookcase and revealed a fucking piece of paper on the wall about yellow feet with numbers and varying positioning of the toes. Okay. And I have absolutely no idea what that is a reference to. So, I'm assuming the only other puzzle in this room, aside from... Whatever the fuck opens that chest here probably has something to do with this code here. So I guess my next question is... Well, you found a third key? Yes. Alright. So yeah. Oh! Wait. Don't. Don't even. I think I figured it out. Statuette. Uh, there's a fucking massive though. It definitely would not fit on this count on that on that table. No, there is a picture of it on top of one of the the yellow shirt kid's head, I believe. It's not him. I think that's the one stand we're missing currently, because the boy and the girl. Wait, no, the yellow kid, he's in the first area. Yeah. Snap to his thing? Nope, does not snap to his thing. Alright, well. Worth a shot.
feet so, do some anything. Some of these are normal, but uh, what was the code to that did to that lock code to that lock code you had? Uh, because wasn't it in any way like three, five, and seven by any chance? Six, three, seven. Six would have been the thing. Okay, this probably doesn't have anything. The fact that three and seven are. Oh, three, five, seven was this code. Oh, which one? Oh. This one, the other one that we that I that I well, that first. was the solution to that apparently. Okay, well we figured that one out. Cool. Uh, that, <laughs> that's why I can't figure out what that's for. <laughs> Remember, the puzzles only work in each other's rooms. Yep. So the only thing I can think of now is we have this code, which is colors: blue, red, green, yellow. Uh, well, oh, we have I blue, see. red, and green. And we do, in fact, have blue, red, and green. All right, so and yellow me. we can brute force. Yep. All right. So what's blue? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Why five feet away. We have two reds. All oh, right. Maybe they're two together. Maybe it's two maybe it's one plus maybe it's two one maybe it's one two one two two and then whatever yellow is one two two zero maybe i can't well the greens are on 11 so probably not Alrighty. Wait. so give me your way my way didn't work my way won't work either. But maybe it has something to do with the skip bow over here or whatever this is. Uh, yeah, wait, I got it. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Go back to the code. Yep. All right, red is two. What's blue first? Oh, blue? Blue is three. Is three. Okay. What's then red? Then what? Two. Green? Four. And yellow. Three. Yep, that's her. And it's a bottle of it's a flask or something. Alright, well let's see if it opens the door. Rub it against the door and see if it opens the door. Alright, does it open the chest? Rubbing it on everything in the room to see what happens. Over here, the chest. No? Over? Does it? Can you rub it on that? Is it? Oh 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 oh. Okay. Oh, there's numbers on the ground. Hey, six seven three. That's your code for this one. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, so that. Yep. All right, so that's how we uh, would have gotten that. So that's the last puzzle of this room. So now we yeah, but how do we get out of the room? Uh, I'm assuming whatever we do to open this fucking chest is the thing. But I think we're oh, out of wait, puzzles. Oh, wait, wait. It, uh, it locked onto something. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh, there it is. And a couple of eyes. I want to put the eyeballs in the door. Put the eyeballs in the kid's painting. Yep. Oh, that's not good. That's good. Ah, it's so spoopy! Alright, well, have fun, Raven. <laughs> what is that? Oh, the skeleton had blue balls, but only one of them. Excuse me a moment, I'm just going to be pondering my orb. Ponder the orb. Ponder it. Ponder the blue ball. Remember. You're supposed to not find. Let's see. I'm gonna ponder the skeleton's blue ball. And assume it goes in this guy's hands. Yep, sure does. What kind of thing? Oh, that's another chest room. It's a skull. Skull of a three digit number on it. Uh, yes. Or oh, it has something. It? Uh, it's 
five kilograms, but there's something else on it. I'm trying to. There's something else written here, like on the underside of it. A fucking carpal tunnel doing this. Opening something. Shifting the puzzle around. Down in some Lockpicking lawyer. <laughs> right? Got it. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, another key. Yep. Another key we don't have keyholes for. Yep. Oh yeah, there's the the, the orb. Yeah, I had to give oh, I had to pondering. give the, I give, had to give the orb of pondering to the wizard so he could ponder his orb. And I got a give skull. He gave me a head. Well, wow, this kid is in first place. This kid is literally in first place. Oh, that's what that's. That's what that was. I just don't know what to make of it. Is there nothing else in the area? Do you have, do you find any paper or anything? No, no notes. Just the just the skull, and all the skull says is five kilograms. Like marked on the back of it. Like some other marking there that I can't make out what that five. says. Five. Oh. Here, pass yeah. me a skull. Yeah, it says five kilograms right here, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Pass me a skull for a second. Sure, it's right here. I've been trying to stick it on things in here too, and nothing's uh, clicking. It looks like. Let's 
here. Maybe it doesn't do anything. Maybe I'm trying to say this. But all the puzzles have been self-contained in each room. Mm, not necessarily. The only reason uh -huh. I the only reason I had an answer to the uh one puzzle back in the second room was because I saw the pieces in the third. Oh. So maybe there's a thing here. Yeah, I'm looking around for anything that would involve weight. Or just skull. Might have an idea where that goes. Can you pass it? I just wanted to rub it on their yeah. on their portraits. I tried it on the one in the main room too, but it's spoopy. Like some good old spoopy puzzles. Oh. Oh. That dude. Oh. Oh hey! It, it changed. Something? Uh, bravito, bravito. Oh hello. Yep. We are. Rivido. I. E I D O. Oh. Aha! Room is open now. I see a bunch of keyholes. Oh, spoo spoopy keyholes. This one's red. There's the blue one. It is. Okay. You is that a gray one over here? Yeah? Oh, gray one. Right. Right here. Okay. Don't worry, I'll be right back. <laughs> you know there's an answer to that. It, it doesn't just involve you brute forcing it, right? I do I know, I know there is, Raven! <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna I'm still gonna put in words and see if No, not bone? Alright, well it's not bone, I'll tell you that. Oh what? And gone. Gone? Yep. G O N E. Oh, there we yeah, go. We the, finished uh, it. The, the letters popped up on the side of all the pedestals. <clears throat> oh. I'm a ghost now. You've been a ghost. I know. But I'm a ghost. You've been a ghost all for right. a very long time. All righty then. Thank you guys for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you Indeed. very much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the channels below. And... Let's see who's available rating. We got Minzy currently playing Night of the Dead. I'm gonna raid Boshi. It's basically just Minzy and Bo, so. I'm gonna raid Bo! Bo's playing DVD. On Minzy. Bo's playing DVD, DVD, DVD. See you guys tomorrow. I find it hilarious how many DVD streamers I'm friends with, even though I fucking really don't really care for that game. <laughs> yeah. I, I am friends with so many people who fucking main that game. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're going to go right off to Minzy Chaos right now, playing Night of the Dead. With some extra people. I'm not sure who specifically. Maybe Candy, maybe a few of the other people. I'm not sure at the moment. All right. Thank you very much. I will be back tomorrow night with Overkill. We'll figure out what it is we're doing specifically beforehand because it would usually be Remnant 2. Unfortunately, oh, unfortunately, Armor Hide is not available. So we won't be doing that tomorrow like we usually would. We'll figure out something else.
as much as he's uh, all hell divers out, maybe we do that. I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking about hell divers. We're, we're doing more of it on Tuesday, also, so we'll yeah. figure it out. Anyways, thank you all very much for coming out. I will see you again tomorrow. Peace. Mm-hmm.